my mind is gone. <laughs> my mind is gone, y'all. Like the video as the intro plays, and we got it. We got a lot to discuss. A whole lot, y'all. We got a lot to discuss. One, y'all. Somebody tell Tasha one and one got to equal two because it's not equal in two. Make it make sense. Oh, make no. it make sense. That's all. <laughs> one and one got to equal two. Ooh. Make it make sense, boo. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dreams. Let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dreams. Let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense. Y'all, I don't even, do we really know where to begin? Did anybody, before we even start with the foolishness, did anybody see this coming? I did not. And I want to say this before we, um, what's up legally? I see you guys in here. Before we really, really get into it, before we really, really get into it, y'all, how do you expect? the gospel community to embrace uh open marriage i know y'all i know y'all saw this look i'm a straight shooter pow pow y'all know i see it for everybody but um there's a very sacrilegious person who made a song called drop it low for jesus He's not going to be embraced by the gospel community. And I just, I'm not. <laughs> part, of, part of me felt like some of her apology was heartfelt and sincere. The other part of me felt like, is this some type of PR publicity stunt because your sister has dropped the receipts? I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, y'all know me. I'm shady, but I'm fair. I want this family to work it out. But there were parts that I believed and parts that I didn't believe. Not the concubine. She ain't a concubine now, Leah. She's not a concubine. I just, I think that she's doing this again to save face for her husband. I really don't see that this is who she is. I see that she's saving face for her husband. I think she's tired of being drugged. Yes. I think that she thought that there would be more people that would be on her side in this, and it's just not happening. It's not happening. What's up, Lunar Love? Good night. Um. So she can tell her album. Okay, so let's get into it. We're going to dissect a little bit and then I'm open up the floor and you guys can come up and give your opinions. So let's see. Let's see if this one is too fast. And we pull through. So when you, when you talk about 30,000 that I don't know anything about, all I said is, can we get clarity about it? Because during that time, we, we both were helping one another. I just need clarity. What are you seeing? What are you saying? Because I have my receipts and you have yours. But we need to sit down as, as sisters and not go through this in the social media. Like on social media, it's not good. We need to... So, again, I feel like part of this is very heartfelt. However, the tit for tat, right? We're still in the tit for tat if you are saying, I have my receipts and you have yours. It could be something as simple as you showed your receipts. Well, first off, this should have been a phone call directly to her. But we'll get into the phone situation. If you show your receipts and they seem to be very valid, then my next point of action is... I did not know this happened to you, and I'm sorry. Let's talk about it, right? I'm not too, please make this, I'm trying. I. She should have had me write her apology. I could have, I could have drafted something really good. To sit down and figure out what this is, because we can get through anything, but we have to communicate. 
we have to talk to one another because you can't get through anything without that. And I've been convicted already of being a thief and I don't even know what you're talking about. You put up something online with Tamika. We both have receipts. We both have receipts. Let's just get through it. What is this? Ooh, ooh, okay, show yours. <laughs> Let's start there. Show yours. We got over 500 in the chat. With one of my mods, let me know where we are in likes. We got to get the likes up so YouTube knows. Um, YouTube knows that we're on. So let's see. We got 500 in here. We got 200 likes. Let's make the new like goal 400. Let's, let's keep going. How do we maneuver? How do we get through this? Whatever it is, Tamika, we can resolve it. This is not nothing that we need to perpetuate and continue to move and make people feel away. This is us. we sisters. We've never not been able to talk about anything ever. And I don't feel like because of what's going on in the, you know, in this media that we should use this platform for to down one another or to try to make each other feel less than that's not what this is. We're supposed to be family and I want my family back. I don't care about nothing else. And I've always said that I don't care about what people say. It's about what I feel like with my sister, how she feels. And I apologize to you, Tamika, if I didn't hear you, if I didn't hear your voice, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm. How did I feel? I feel like certain parts are heartfelt. Don't get me wrong. I think part of this is PR. She's in the media all the time. It's all negative. She's trying to sell a gospel album. Y'all think about this. You can usually repent and the religious community has a, you might get taken back. Let's just be honest. I was raised in a very religious household. If you repent, the problem is she is just now getting into this industry, this gospel part of the music business. She hasn't sold any records yet. If you think that Motown is not looking at all the discord and strife that is going on around her and rethinking and telling her you need to fix this, her album comes out. For example, Latasha's, I mean, Tamika's YouTube channel I think had a few thousand people. It's now probably over 50, 60,000 with millions of views now. Her channel, I think it has maybe eight to 10,000. It's not a good look. People are not that invested in her. They, people believe Tamika. And what she needed to do was give us a real, real heartfelt apology. And I think some of this was heartfelt and I just don't see it all. I'm trying my best chat. to to make it. I'm trying to weather storms in my own personal life. It's like, I'm not trying to negate how y'all's feelings are. It's like, I have to still have peace within. I got to be able to understand how to move. I don't have all the answers. Being a big sister, you don't have all the answers. Sometimes I make mistakes. I'm human. But with us, we have to resolve this. This cannot dampen or, or drag us out or make us feel like we don't love each other. We love each other. The love is never going to go. You, love doesn't just, you can't throw love away. You do love each other, but your sister is telling you that I do not feel like me, you, and my mom all have equal footing in our relationships. So yes, you can love somebody, but sometimes you have to love them from a distance until they are ready to do right by you. And I honestly don't know if Tasha is ready to do right by Tamika. You just can't throw it out the window because something comes on, you know, and you have a, a hiccup in the road. That's not what this is. I love you with all of my heart. With all of my heart. I do heart. believe she loves her sister. And when I hear people say, your sister had your back and we've had each other's backs. I stood up for you the same way you, st you stood up for me. And I, I would never, I want to apologize for that. That's what it is. That's what you're supposed to do. That's how we were raised. That bond can't be broken. Now, right now we're going through these times, but at the end of the day, when I got my sister and I'm, I got my family, I still stand on that. That's 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 everything. It's that and then the business. And that's why y'all see me looking crazy on TV. Y'all don't know that that was the very first scene that my sister and I shot with my mother. No, it wasn't four or five uh, scenes. We do know that it was the very first scene. We do know it was the very first thing you told us, but it hasn't moved the needle left or right in how people feel about you. Later, It was the very first scene, so I'm upset. I carry my feelings right here. Everybody that knows me, they know that. I can't, I'm not fake. I don't know what to do with that. That's, this is who I am. I can't hide from it. I can't shun it. I can't sit here and pretend that it ain't. This is who I am. So if y'all see me cry, y'all see me looking like this is because I'm in, I'm, I'm in my feelings. And I'm in my feelings when it comes down to my family. And we're going to resolve this. I love my sister. And can't nobody else talk about it. Don't call me talking about my sister. Don't text me talking about my sister. Do not DM me talking about my sister. Because we're going through this. It's just the fact that we're in the public. I have so many people out there now. Y'all going through stuff too. It's just the cameras are not in y'all's faces. 
the cameras are not capturing the fact that you guys are going through far worse than what we are. And I'm not pointing fingers. I'm saying, don't judge us. Pray for us. Be there for us in a way to where God gets the glory. It's not even about us. Okay. So another thing that's been happening is people feel like she uses her relationship with God to shut down conversations. It, it does feel like, ma'am, you had all this time to come forward. You waited until she dropped her very real receipts. Tamika is the one. Now, I showed you guys a sneak peek of this upcoming episode Sunday. If you watch that, I broke it down. And what happens is Tamika seems to be the one to always have to initiate an apology initiate a hug you guys you can put in the chat if you watch that video i dropped earlier it said sneak peek on it but if you remember i said specifically it's not right to have to be the one to always initiate and if people are asking you the question like if you were sitting down with somebody and you're trying to make it right with them if you start the conversation are well how do you think this went wrong it automatically puts the other person in the position where they have to answer and apologize first it's very manipulative check that video out um check that video out for sure uh queen barbara says tamika apologized to her sister tiny and candy in my opinion was leading tasha to go against her sister with her selfish only child advice candy Tamika apologized to her sister, Tiny, and Candy, in my opinion, was leading Tasha to go against her sister with her with their selfish only child advice, Candy. Queen Barbara, put that back. Put re, Rephrase that. I'm having a little difficult time understanding what you're saying. You don't have to do another super chat. Just put it in the chat, and I will highlight it, and we'll, we'll review that one. Because I, I don't quite understand to her sister, Tiny, and Candy, in my, was leading Tasha to go against her sister. Also, do you feel that Candy and them are wrong? Tell me what you're saying. But thank you for the super chat, and I'll be on the lookout. Thank you for the super sticker, Tremaine Rucker. I appreciate you supporting the channel. Brittany says she keeps playing victim, like real bad, and it's annoying. It does give a little victimish. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's a little victimish. Thank you guys for the super chats. And remember, um, Queen Barber, I'll, I'll highlight it. I'll try to highlight your comment. Mods pointed out when she makes that comment. Let's keep going. That's at the end of the day. It's about the love that we have and what we show people to get through. And we're going to get through this. I'm trusting God that we will. And we will. We're going to talk to Mika. I don't know. I mean, I keep reaching out. Mom's reaching out. I'm going to keep reaching out till you call me, till we rectify whatever the situation is. We're going to get through it. I know we will. Um, and I apologize for anything that I didn't see, anything that I don't understand. I apologize to you for that. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> I apologize. I did not steal my sister's money. I did not steal my sister's money. Mm. Tamika, you know I didn't steal your money. Okay, I got it. Okay, thank you for the super chat. She says, Tiny and Candy was brainwashing Tamika. I love having people in my chat who have different opinions. So whenever I drop the link, feel free to come up, Queen Barbara. And tell us why you feel that way. That's what these open panel nights are for. Thank you for the super chat. And if there's anything that I can do to resolve this, I'm going to resolve it. Well, for starters, the conversation should go, I saw your proof. The money went to my account. I'm sorry. Let me cut you a check. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to sell that Louis Vuitton robe that I wore during the season. Uh, Rocky can sell his Escalade. I'll give you guys my Tesla. Let me make it right. I'm sorry that I or allegedly took your money at a time when you needed the money. To all those people that are out there who are judging me because of my relationship with my husband, we have been married for 28 years. I have been with this man for 28 years through the highs and lows. I've been at my worst. Yeah, I've been depressed. I've been wanting to take myself out of here. He was the only one that stood by my side. And I'm not saying this to make it seem like, oh, he's everything. But at, he's everything to me and my family. He's everything to me and our son. And do we have problems? Are we perfect? No, we're not. Is he perfect? No, he's not. Am I perfect? I'm not perfect. I'm very aware. I'm very much aware of the allegations that are happening about him. I see everything. As a wife, you know, you see everything. 
But with our relationship, you know, some people keep the fact that they have an open relationship quiet. They want to keep it private. But we have that. And for us to be judged or whatever by the things. Now, y'all put in the comments. Do you guys feel that Tamika was in an open relationship? Do you feel that Rocky was in an open relationship? Or do you feel that they were both in an open relationship together? Because I really, in my heart of hearts, do not believe she was in an open relationship. And as many women have allegedly come forward, we have never seen anybody come forward saying that Tamika was laying it low and spreading it wide or dropping it low for Jesus. We have never heard that. Um, Tamara says, that woman is not in an open marriage. She's crying because Rocky came clean about his women. Escape is no more, so she cannot run back to them. She tore down her own house, following behind Rocky. Thank you, Tamara. This house does seem to be towed down. It is given Giselle's house before the makeover. That's what it's given. It's, 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 it's a home and a house. But you know what? Maybe she was. Who knows? That's a little, you know, Dominic Trixie. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they were. Who am I to say? Who am I to say? <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue. Thank you, Tamara. Things that people are saying, y'all keep judging, y'all keep living, y'all got marriages. Everybody ain't gonna always be true. Things happen. At the end of the day, do I stand beside my husband? I know y'all think I don't know. I know everything. Everything. I'm not oblivious to things. My husband and I, what y'all don't understand, we do have an open relationship. We have spoken about things. That's my that is my private business. But because I'm sharing my heart with y'all, I'm letting y'all know, please. Stop it. I can't even think about the things that are going on now because I'm being attacked everywhere I go. I'm being attacked. I go to the radio stations. I'm being attacked. I go to this place. I'm being attacked. I'm Is she talking about the brat? Y'all know the brat's going to respond. Uh, Shauna says, I kind of feel for Latasha. She's having a rough week. Bad move doing the show when you're not living right as if it is not going to get exposed. I really do think. Thank you, Shauna, for the super chat. I don't think she was going to get exposed. If she would have just done the show, played the game, played nice, they could have continued making money on Escape, and the drama from the show would have just been them not wanting to co-headline. I guarantee you that was expected to be the drama on the show. And this real family drama is what got came to the surface. And then with the family drama, then internet detectives like myself, uh, you get the point. Thank you, Shauna, for the super chat. Thank you, Nate. Nate Nate for the super sticker. And Brittany says, I think she meant open lines of communication. No, she meant that her, her and Rocky were laying it low and spreading it wide with other people while recording a gospel album. That's what she meant. <laughs> Thank you, Brittany. Sunshine says, that young lady needs to keep her mouth closed. She crying because she got caught up in her web of lies and deceit. Good luck on that solo. Oh, Lord. Some people said in my chat that they were going to buy her album. I hope, you know, she's not allegedly, in my opinion, I did a video where I don't think that she's in the new iteration of Escape. I think it really will be a three-member group. They're testing that out. So she's lost out on that. All of this turmoil, turmoil might put her gospel album in jeopardy. So now I think part of this apology is heartfelt and other part is PR. Thank you, Sunshine. Thank you, Soraya Yisrael, for the super sticker. I appreciate you. Zelina says the pressure is on from Motown and want to come back. Ig exactly. Zelina, we see each other. Motown is probably giving her the blues right now. Carol Chamberlain, she needs to leave her husband out of, out of this fight with her sister. Don't tell us, tell your sister. Technically, this should have been a phone call or you should have showed up at her doorstep. Thank you so much for the super chats, guys. Carol... Zelina. Oh, I got one more. Sean loving life. Bruh, God ain't in this. <laughs> God ain't in this mess. How can you sing gospel but not living the gospel? It's not about perfection. It's about actually living right. That gospel career can't be saved, but if she can make it right, if. You know, people in the church can be very forgiven. She does have an opportunity. Thank you for the um, generous super chat, Sean. I appreciate that. She does have an opportunity to fix this, but it's it's dwindling through her fingers. She needs to correct it with attacked. Tamika. 
because I said I wanted to do a gospel project, a gospel. I want to sing to the Lord and every other minute I'm being attacked. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. My sister, that's my family. My husband, that's my family. You said you don't want a gospel album from somebody in open marriage. Well, isn't Pastor Jamal Bryant laying it low and spreading it white? People, people still go to his church. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. And I can't even get through the things that I got to get through because y'all attacking me. How do y'all think that, how do y'all even know that I'm strong enough to take all of the stuff that I'm taking? I feel like I'm by myself. That I that am I believe. alone and nobody wants to feel like that. That I believe. When I say parts were heartfelt, this I believe. She is standing on her own with just her mama and Rocky. But that's the island that you guys put yourself on. You want to get off that island, you will need to make amends with Tamika, especially in the public eye, because the public is Tamika can say till she's blue in the face that she hates the way that this is making her mom and her sister look. But at the end of the day, the public has sided with her. You're going to need to make it right. Even if that doesn't mean on camera with escape, all that. You're going to need to make it right if you want to continue having a career because Motown ain't with it. Um, it is just not. Nobody. I just wanted to sing. That's it. And me wanting to sing has caused so. I swear that took me back to the Players Club. I just came to dance. <laughs> Sorry. Inappropriate. Why am I like this? Much controversy. So much, so many allegations. And I'm like, where's all this stuff coming from? And I know that the enemy is busy. When you pray and you ask for God to, to bless you and, and to order your steps, it comes with scrutiny. It comes with peaks and valleys. And right now I'm in the valley, y'all. And y'all keep poking and y'all keep pushing. Y'all keep talking. And I get it. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say, but do keep in mind, I'm a human being just like y'all. You know, certain things in my life that I'm trying to straighten out, but how can I straighten things out? with y'all poking and, and, and accusing me and convicting me. And I'm trying to find answers. I'm trying to find resolve. I can't even get to resolve because every time I turn around, y'all y'all saying things about me. What in the world am I doing to y'all? I'm trying to figure out life on my end. And it's not easy. It's not easy. And like I said, I've had conversations with God and I'm just freeing myself. To, right now, it's just me being in this vulnerable place and, and, and speaking to you guys about my life and about the fact that I am not... I'm not happy. I'm not at peace right now. And when it comes down to my husband, we have a relationship where we talk. Everybody wants to say he's a brain. He's very smart. And I know Iron Sharp. Is I was with you till you said Rocky was smart. Uh, Wu Child, why didn't she say open line of communication? <laughs> Look, y'all, maybe she does have an open marriage. Maybe she's just better at you know, laying it low and spreading it wide around Atlanta than Rocky is. Because Rocky be telling the mistress he don't even want to be with her. Maybe she's up front. Who knows? Thank you, Wu Chow. Got a couple more. Uh, Shed uh, Shed Shed Rion. Hopefully I said that right. If not, tell me in the chat. I hate the fact that people always blame other people on their bad behavior. I wonder if Miss Queen felt the same way when Tosh had her sister lie on candy for her. Shedarion, I'm going to say that when she said that Candy was sleeping with Jermaine Dupri and the daddy, I do think that a little bit of that was in defense of, to me, of Tasha. I, I'm not going to lie. Thank you so much for the super chat. I'm not going to lie. Hey, in my opinion, uh, Akatitude19 says, Mims, your memes are hilarious. <laughs> Gospel verse open marriage. Thank you. <laughs> I know I'm a mess. I know I'm a mess. Uh, I'm I'm a mess. I know. <laughs> uh, Kelly G, miss me with the as a big sister crap. Her acting like she doesn't know reality TV. This is her third reality show. Exactly. When she started blaming editing, I was over it. Thank you, Kelly. Nurse Lala says Tasha forgot her sister Tamika is a Scorpio. We have the same birthday. She felt attacked and dropped up. <clears throat> the only way to come back is to admit it and move forward. That's not he knows crying ain't enough. And I'm with you. You know what would be enough? A $30,000 check or 
They said that it was potentially more than thirty thousand dollars, but she just rounded to an even thirty. Pay her money. Go into those accounts and figure it out. Stephanie Ray, uh, what happened to that "nuck if you buck" attitude? That video she made in those interviews that she did prior to Ricky Smiley haven't aged well at all. Brat's comments shook her too. Well, Brat was somebody who actually got to see it in real time. So when Brat was saying it, it was almost like exposing her. It wasn't a good look. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, I think, okay, we got one more, then we got to go in. Fola D says, open marriage and gospel. Make it make sense. I can't. I cannot make it make sense. However, you know what else I can't make make sense? These likes. We got 1,300 people in here, and we only got 400 likes. Hit that like button. Hit the like button while my intro plays. Make it make sense. Could somebody please make it make sense? Big Mims! Surfer. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. I should have known better when I seen her hair. I got a feel. <laughs> Still gets me. Okay. Obi says she was a lot more genuine in that love and hip hop confessional. That was real Tasha. This is fake. I don't really know what we, I don't honestly know what the expectations are I, at this point, Tasha, it's too much. This could have been a very quick apology. I'm sorry. I'm gonna make it right with my sister. Y'all don't, don't drop me from motel. <laughs> Sharpens iron. If so, if y'all see me looking at my husband and he talking Thank to me, you, Obi. I'm never been ab abused at all, verbally, mentally, physically, never. I'm not stupid. I wouldn't dare stay in a relationship where I feel like I've been abused. This is not what this is. This is love, and it's, it's, some people don't want to celebrate it. Y'all highs and lows and everything. I ain't saying that we perfect. We're not perfect. We're not. But we live in a society where we're convicted before anything, and all of the naysayers and all the lies and people. People are. I have had people screenshot me pictures of people being paid to destroy us, to destroy us. Who is being paid to destroy y'all? Where did that even come from? Like, where did that come from? Thank you, Obi. Who is being paid? Yo. <laughs> this was a roller coaster apology. Y'all don't know what it feels like, but I mean, it's easy to sit behind a, a phone and a computer and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. But y'all don't know what it feels like for people to continue to come against you. And attack you every day. And for what reason? Nobody's telling me why y'all attacking me. Y'all just keep going. But it's okay because I I serve a true God. And that's all. I'm standing on my faith. I'm standing on my faith. And I know that God is not going to. He, he's never <laughs> left me yet. Am I going through the, the valley right now? I am. But yea, though I walk through the, <laughs> the valley of the shadow of death, I will, I will feel no evil. Because this is evil out here. And a lot of the people that y'all know, y'all. Isn't stealing evil too? The am I <laughs> thieving is in the Bible? Uh, Trent says you can't have no open marriage when you're living at home with your mom. You ain't gonna be running the streets when we homeless. <laughs> Maybe they rent money was going to the mistresses allegedly, allegedly, because one of the mistresses, and I will be covering this, one of the mistresses has said, one of the alleged mistresses has said that Rocky wanted her to move into a specific area in Atlanta, which if you guys saw my review of the first unique mistress lady, she said that, um, no, Rocky said she was a stalker because she lived in an area close to him. So you got another mistress who's alleging that Rocky wants you in an area close to them, which would kind of make sense, kind of like what Kevin did with Sharina, Wendy's husband. He wanted her very, very close. And so, y'all, it's crazy. But I, you know, I've been giving you guys the coverage. Thank you, Trent, for the super ch the super chat. I think I got one more. Oh, these it's moving fast. Zelina Gilbert says we know the check was going in her husband's account. So if she didn't know what was going on, then who wrote the change of address? Because you can tell it's a female handwriting. Was it his side piece? If it wasn't her, now Zelina, 
Maybe Rocky has a feminine hand. Maybe Rocky is the Chrissy of <laughs> SWV in Escape. Y'all, <laughs> y'all remember Kim Phil's husband, Chrissy? Maybe Rocky is the Chrissy of SWV and Escape, Queens of RB. <laughs> Just playing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zelina. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm not even going to say Christians or people that believe us. Y'all know when you say you want to do something for God and you just be attacked. Do you think that people are attacking you because you are a person of God? <laughs> Ma'am, nobody is attacking you because you are a, a devout, good Christian woman. They are responding to your behavior towards your sister Seeing what Tamika has gone through has triggered so many people. And that is why you're getting such a visceral reaction from the fans. You are becoming, you know, America's most hated. Uh, Brittany says, Rocky outside creating text messages with pain to destroy you. Girl. Uh, <laughs> I think that deserves this face. Uh, Yeah. It's not working. These are the parts that I was just sitting there like, I don't believe you. It's hard, y'all. But I'm going to make it through this. We all are. You know, I just, I wanted to share my truth with y'all, you know, and, and I, I want to apologize to Motown and Capitol Records, um, even the gospel community. I did. There you go. This part was PR. You're apologizing to Motown. Why would you need to apologize to Motown other than the fact that you have created an environment where they're looking at them like you signed this lady? You signed this lady with an open marriage and a husband who is threatening, allegedly threatening people with pow pows. This is who you sign. They might as well as uh, sign Tommy from Love and Hip Hop. Like, what, what are we doing, Motown? <laughs> Thank you, Sean. <laughs> I appreciate that. Jamie B says, if open marriage means my husband is cheating and I know, then Juan and Robert are in an open marriage too. Oh, Lord. You heard that, Giselle? She's overwhelmed with the motion, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> I did not intend to bring this type of attention in this arena. I didn't. I wanted to sing. I came to share my heart with y'all. I was coming out of certain scenes and I was dance. crying and I was able to have the conversation with God and share my story through song. And I do believe that God, that's what he did for me in my life. He's allowed me to be a minister through music. And now I don't even know. I that contract is in jeopardy. We don't know either. And I don't want her to lose her Motown. I don't, I would actually stream it, check it out. I don't want her to lose her entire livelihood because we now know allegedly she is not going to be touring with Escape. And, you know, Rocky alleged that he was, you know, a manager to Britney Spears, Trey Songs, Michael Jackson. And all of those people are not on any music roster. Let me tell you. Shout out to Britney. I love her. But the other ones, a little problematic, just like your main artist. I, I don't even know where to go. I don't even know where to turn. You know, I... I use the music as therapy, but now it's it's a lot. It's a whole lot, and I just... I would definitely advise therapy, family therapy, personal therapy, and couples therapy, because I don't think you knew exactly how much Rocky has been out here laying it low and spreading it wide, allegedly. Uchi bang bang. Oh, Uchi wally wally. Uchi... Oh, no, I can't be talking about the gospel album. And going into Uchi Wally Wally. I'm just kidding. Uchi Bang Bang says she's attempting to weaponize mental health and her relationship with God, and it isn't working. Also, if it isn't open marriage, why is the mistress a threat? Rocky is hollering lawsuit. You got me there, Uchi Wally Wally, Uchi Bang Bang. Thank you for the super chat. If Unique was in this alleged five year relationship with him and she was fine with it, what elicited Rocky's anger from Unique and allegedly these other girls that are coming forward? Y'all know I'm going to be all over that. Thank you for the super chat. Um, you got me over here singing Uchi Wallaway. Thank you so much, 
Jason something. I appreciate it for the super sticker. Rework says, not Tamla Man with another, another number one gospel single and the public want to bring Christians down. Look, nobody is perfect. And the church will embrace somebody who comes back, you know, better than ever, re-strengthens their relationship with God. But this stuff in the public and showing that you are the Kim Burrell of gospel, you don't want to come into it being a Kim Burrell. Kim Burrell over there lying, saying that Jay-Z and Beyonce, that Beyonce listened to her music for 14 hours straight or something like that. In the words of Forrest Rocks, a lie don't care who tell it. Thank you, Reworked. <laughs> and I felt in my spirit that I have to be real and transparent with you guys. I'm, I'm not whole right now. I'm, I'm bruised. I'm, I'm emotional. And this is what you're seeing, and I can't hide it. I'm, I'm not trying to hide it. I just want y'all to know that I need people, prayer warriors. I need people who know how to uplift, who know how to to help in times like this, because this is a time for me, and I can't lie. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys, but um, my apologies to my group, to, to the fans, to my mother, to my father, to my grandmother, to my family, to the whole community, the whole gospel community. This is not what I came in for. I I came here to free myself, to heal, to I to speak the word of God, dance. to have a message in my heart. That's it. <laughs> That's over. I'm 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 done. I'm done. I did not steal money from my sister. I see some of these comments. I just want to talk to my sister. And when my Yes, but the question is, did your husband? That's the question, ma'am. Now, how about this? How about when this was going on? Y'all ready for some foolishness? Tasha K was in the comments saying, I got two more side chick dropping one. What's going on? Now y'all know Tasha was not right. And Wu Child, is that you? Did I, you Lord, Wu Child, is that my Wu Child? Yes. Dude, I want you guys to zoom into this picture. If you see, Wu Child is responding to her in real time. Wu Child is one of my subscribers, is famous in these YouTube streets. Wu Child says, to your sister, Wu Child, I know you're in here. <laughs> a mess my sister talks to me we're gonna get through this and then y'all can go about your business and, and go talk about somebody else because that's what's gonna be next somebody else gonna come along y'all gonna continue to bash and, and ain't nobody really trying to help find no resolve y'all out here making people help find you resolve you what do we need to do a go fund me what what how much help you need we got 1600 people in here we don't even have a thousand likes new like goal 1200 Tony says now she's playing the victim. She's trying to save that Motown contract. But how are you going to do gospel in an open marriage? Girl, just stop talking. Yes. Hire a PR expert. If Rocky is the one, I know a couple people. If Rocky, you need a crisis team. You don't even need a PR. You need a crisis management team. You need, if you're not going to give her that money, go ahead and give them that $30,000 and they can tell you how to make, how to move right. Because this ain't it. This is not it. Thank you, Tony. The original truth says, girl, we ain't going and, and look like Motown ain't going either. The original truth slayer, you ain't never lied. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Oh, <clears throat> uh, I think, okay. Buddha Bell says, she act like this is our fault. The streets talk and, and we are, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Buddha Bell, you must be a subscriber. Yes, the streets talk and the curbs listen and we are the curb. We keep our ears to the street. Thank you, Buddha Bell. <laughs> Zelina, why would Tamika answer her phone if Rocky is threatening her? Latasha ain't saying nothing to him. I wouldn't answer my phone neither. Where is... You keep saying you didn't steal the money, but you're not saying that the money's not gone. You're not saying, I, I have received the message. I saw your receipts. I want to find tooth comb. Let me talk to my finance guy. Let me see what this is about. Let's investigate it together. If it's my husband who did this, he needs to go to jail. We're not hearing any of that. That's the problem. Thank you, Zelina. Uh, let's get back to it. Y'all don't know that this mental health, this stuff is real. Y'all sit here and do this. The next minute, y'all know something happens to somebody, and y'all want to be apologetic. 
And y'all want to say, oh, I, we didn't know that that person was going through that. And you talk about, oh, my gosh, we didn't know. But y'all are the ones who are help causing this, some of this stuff. And it's sad because everybody got a day. Everybody ain't gonna, it's not going to be high for y'all every day. It's going to be some low points. And you better get a grip with God. You better find out who, who your God is because everybody going to go through it. And I'm going through it right now. And I'm not pointing the fingers at nobody. All I'm saying is I need help. I need people who love. I don't need people who hate. I need people who can give me advice, too, because I'm a big sister, but I need a big sister right now. I need somebody to say, girl, it's going to be OK. No, I believe this part. I definitely believe this part. Because me and my sister, we're going to get through that. That's nothing. That, that ain't no, nothing. That's something. us talking. That's whatever that situation is, we're going to fix it. But all y'all on here trying to dog me out for stuff that I don't even know nothing about? Come on, man. Y'all convicted me for... I ain't even been tried yet. Y'all convicted me. But it's okay. I can't, I can't please everybody. I'm not trying to... Well, she did show receipts. Where are your receipts? You started off this live by saying you got receipts too. Show them so that you can say... This is the confusion because I have these receipts. Let's find out the truth together. I did not realize that I or my husband potentially allegedly had hurt you so long ago. Let's fix it. People are not seeing that in Tasha, and that's why it's not well received. I'm trying to please everybody. All I'm saying is if there's anybody out there that is at your wit's end, I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like, and it's very hurtful. When you, all you want to do is just do what you love and you got all these people saying things about you and you human and you feel everything that people are saying. I'm praying over my spirit. Can we talk about the tape? Does your husband have your sister's mm -mm tape? Because that would really bother me if my significant other had my siblings mm -mm tape. Was Rocky having a good time with your sister's mm -mm tape? Like, these are the kind of, you're doing a public apology, but you're not giving us what we need. And I knew it was our Wu Child. Uh, Wu Child says, mind your business, Mims, and I sent you a DM. <laughs> Rochelle says, she is a mess. If she wanted to repair, she had months to contact her sister. The show was recorded months ago, right? Yes. Yes. The show has probably been over for months. She's choosing to do this now because I don't think that she knew that the public outcry would be so bad. Thank you, Rochelle. The French lady says Motown dropped that. Ah, I wasn't there. Motown dropped that B. That's why two apology is for. That's what the apology is for. The French lady. <laughs> Thank you. The original truth lady says she didn't write a check through them tears, though. Bye. So y'all are not feeling what she's saying. Wow. Uh, Thank you, the original truth slayer. Uh, okay, guys. So. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to first drop the link for the I love y'all. I love y'all. Private chat. I love um, y'all. I love my family. But this is a lot. This is a lot for me and I just I just needed to share my heart with y'all. I just needed to share how I feel right now. I'm in, I'm by myself. I'm by myself, but I, I'm going to be okay. Tamika, I love you. Let's talk. Let's talk. I want my sister. I love you. Let's talk. I love you. I do think that she loves her sister. I really do think that she loves her sister, but... Um... Hey, everybody, I'm Tasha. And I'm Tamika. And you're on... What's up, everybody? I'm Tasha. Okay, we're not doing that. That was an old interview back when they were still real, real, real cool. Uh, but let's see. Um, we I have shared the link in the straight shooters. Then after the straight shooters come up, I will drop the link again. And we could have like a big open panel discussion. I want people who actually believe Latasha, and I want people who feel the opposite. Anybody is welcome. Nobody's gonna be attacked over here. It's all just an opinion. We all got something to say. It has been dropped. But this is gonna be a fun night. I told you guys we're doing open panels. If you're new to the channel, when I do open panel, anybody can come up. Anybody who has an opinion. If you want to join the straight shooters, you are more than welcome to do so. Um, there's a link in the description. But uh, yeah, we got 1,700 people in here and we don't even have a thousand likes. Go ahead and hit that like button. It lets YouTube know that we are live and we are in here and we are having a good time and we are clowning. But um, okay, so let's take this off. Stop screen share. I think I actually might let a few people up. So let's see. What, oh, wait, did I miss some? Oh, I missed some super chats. Uh, okay, she didn't write the check through them tears. I got that one. I think I see a couple more. Natasha is what? Okay, 
Suki Blackhouse says, Latasha is what pride before the fall looks like. So is this the fall? I could definitely see this being a major career issue. Thank you so much, Suki. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Tony Henderson said, you got receipts, but don't know what Tamika is talking about. In my candy voice, the lies, the lies, the lies. Thank you so much, Tony Henderson. I got a couple more. The original Truth Slayer. Oh, okay. The original Truth Slayer probably wants to come up and talk. If you go to my community tab, you'll see the link has been posted uh, for the straight shooters. Uh, I see some people in the background. Okay, so we're caught up. What's up, y'all? Hey, how are you today? I'm Hi. doing better than Tamika right now. Probably so. Tasha. Mm. There's so many T's, y'all. There's, There's so tees. many T's. Todd, two Tamikas, uh, Tasha. It's, it's tambourines. It's a whole bunch of T's. <laughs> All right. Okay, so where are y'all at? Do y'all believe her? Do you think that some of this was heartfelt? Do you think none of it's heartfelt? I think a lot of it is heartfelt, but you know how we like to theorize around here sometimes. So if I think I think a little bit of Tasha is a little bit brain warped and I don't think she knew when it was happening in real time. But I challenge the timeline and what she says that she found out the information. And then I think it might have been some time before she probably actually informed her sister that she was aware that that actually happened. That Rocky was using her tape? <clears throat> right. Because here's the thing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the shade the shade so why was because why was Tasha's name on a manager's line you know what I mean that's really suspect I don't think that we can judge the handwriting to say it looked like a girl's um, we would actually need somebody I honestly do not believe that Tasha was in on it and we I don't and Tamika that. did not say she talked to her, Tasha about it she said I talked to the mama about it and the mama said she probably needed the money right uh, she made she Tasha may be telling the truth that right. she had no idea before that scene happened and that was because her sister was willing to protect her and her marriage and her husband just my opinion right because to put Tasha as her to put Tasha as Tamika's manager is weird like that's how did how did that even happen? So I would have to agree with you when I when you say you don't think that Tasha knew when it actually was happening. I I would I would agree with that too. But I still challenge that whole that first scene thing because even if that was the first scene, what did you do to prompt Tamika to say, "Are we hugging now"? I don't like, don't keep making a narrative like Tamika is just super reactive. Oh, I huh? I can tell you. What do you think? Um, prior to this, Tasha had come up with this whole gospel album and it was supposed to be split 50 50. And mm -hmm. when Tamika came into it, she was very excited about doing the album with her sister and mm -hmm. came to it with, like we saw her on the show, with all these ideas. Tasha mm -hmm. is accustomed to running the show uh, musically. She's accustomed to putting together the productions. She is accustomed mm -hmm. to all that. But in this situation, when Tamika came and was like, okay, I want to do everything 50-50, Tasha said no. So Tasha alleges that the record label just didn't want Tamika and they just wanted to move forward with her. But Tamika says that Tasha just didn't want to split everything 50-50. So that was the beef that they were already in prior to the show filming, prior to that first scene. So she just was like, oh, oh like it now, kind of, sort of, because we probably had some tension about that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. I can follow. I can follow that. I can follow that. 
uh, anybody okay so this is an open panel it's a it's a free for all if you hear somebody talking make sure to mute yourself but anybody's welcome to, to I do, jump in. I want to say something. This is Zelina. Hello, everybody. Hey, Zelina. I just want to say in regards of, I know Tasha may have not originally knew about what he was doing. But let me say this. When you do your taxes and you have an LLC that's your husband created, you have to know something about that when you when you do your taxes. And then also, um, in regards of, I was piggybacking on one of your videos yesterday, ma'am, when you were giving us the timeline of the LLC and when it was formed. And it makes so much sense to me because me as a person that do taxes, if you, I understand that they started it in 2012 and you said it kind of ended in 2016. I think one. Dissolved. He ended it, 2016. Well, he dissolved it in 2016. I think it was a couple of reasons he did that. Like you said, he won because the check stopped. But I think it's another good reason to let you all know. When you have an LLC, you, the IRS gives you up to three years to not make a profit off that LLC. So if you look at the, the timeline, if he, he dissolved it in 2016, because now the IRS is trying to start showing us what's the reason why you got this LLC. You need to, you're not making a profit from it. So I have a lot of clients that will dissolve a business that's not making profit because after three times you do taxes on an LLC that's not making business, the IRS, they start looking at that business a little bit different. Like, okay, you can, you're not making no profit. Why you continue to have this business? So I think that's another reason why they dissolved that LLC. Because if you look at the timeline of your thing, like it started in 2012. We don't know exactly what month. And it ended in 2016. That would have been that three tax tax years that they got away with the IRS of not having a profit. Allegedly. Have a pro Allegedly. You know, you can say that, oh, I bought a storefront. I bought this. I paid for staff. But I did make the profit. The IRS they will agree with you because they know businesses don't make a profit right away. But after you do it three times, when it's time to do that fourth time, they, they don't they don't be so lean with you no more. And I think so Zelina, hold on that. really quick, just for people yes. who may not have seen my video, because we have about okay. 1600 people in here. So a lot of people okay. probably aren't even subscribed. Definitely subscribe to the channel. But what she's talking about is I did a timeline from when the check was allegedly delivered to the mother's house in 2012. Rocky started a uh, LLC and the checks went to the LLC's business address, allegedly, is what Tamika showed on her receipts. Um, those checks kept coming in and he kept that LLC open till 2016. 2016, it dissolved. The way it was interpreted is if you've kind of allegedly gotten away with receiving these checks, cashing them and moved on. And now you're moving into a space, a space when escape is starting to ramp up its popularity again. And you're starting to make $30,000 a night. Why do you need it? Because you've gotten away with it, right? There's no longer a need for it. And what Zelina makes, says makes a lot of sense. Because if you follow all Bravo, Tom Girardi consistently said that he made a he made a he did not make any money from this EJ Global where he was funneling all that all of Erica Jane's money to right he wasn't making a profit and that should have been red flags for the IRS but he's allegedly been paying people off and so that's why it didn't even matter that there was no profit being made but 20 30 40 million dollars was funneled into that company when you form an LLC it is a protection which means that let's say that something had come up and those checks were missing. If the company needed to sue the LLC, they could, but there was no money there. They could not come after Rocky or Latasha's alleged personal assets. Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Mm -hmm. So he dissolved it when it was no longer necessary. Yeah. But yeah. And it was the IRS wasn't going to come after him because you still have that three year cushion if you are legally not making a profit on the business. So it was time to dissolve that business. Y'all, we're we're solving mysteries. Judge all but all about Fifi TV says drop my video, Rocky Side Chick number two. Judge all about wow. Fifi. Where would does Rocky have any birthmarks? <laughs> Sorry. Because Unique said some things. Uh thank you so much for the super chat. I see a Pete Tamara. Thank you so much for joining the membership. Um 
Shadarine, Shad, Shadarine, please pronounce your name. I see you're on the panel. You got to unmute yourself. How do you pronounce your name? Shadarion. Shadarion. I'm so sorry. Thank you for joining the membership. <laughs> and around here, guys, you got to throw bows. You got to knuck if you buck. So everybody jumping in the conversation. This is y'all's night. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey look. I wanna get in I wanna get into this open marriage BS. Now come on now. I wanna go straight to this. Everybody, you know, like she's on she's on this thing about I've been married 28 years and this and that. Well, let me tell you something. I've been married 29 years. And I know for a fact, mm -mm, mm -mm. especially the older you get, that was some BS because <clears throat> he wouldn't have, when he, when, remember when he contacted Tasha K, it's kind of like he was trying to, um, convince, trying to convince Tasha K not to let the mistress, not to do the interview. You get what I'm saying? Like, why was he so angry if there was, if, if all was good, sunshine, rainbows and all that? And he definitely, like, he was trying to throw mud, discredit, um, unique. If, you know, I, I don't Rocky believe it. Admitted, Rocky would have admitted really clearly that he had an open marriage. Imagine him just yeah. not saying it at that time. He runs his mouth too much. He, uh -huh. he was talking about the feds. He was talking about all this stuff that had mm -hmm. nothing to do with what we wanted to talk about. He would have definitely let that cat out the bag. She she didn't. Yeah. I don't think she meant it in that manner. And I, I think she's trying to save that to album. Herself I think up. she's trying I think to. She meant it. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I think, think she's, she's trying, trying to save that album. Look yeah. Because the people been dragging her. I mean, she's being drugged for filth through these social yeah. media and these yeah. internet streets. Beyonce yeah. internet got her all drug up. I mean, so, yeah. and I know that Motown is keeping up with her social media activity because yeah. she's a new artist. So yeah. I know they are telling her, look, girl, you better get it together or she about to have a whole nother album put back on the shelf once again. That, I don't, I'm not saying that she didn't care about her sister because y'all keep in mind, now she just did her own speak on it, dragging her own group members for they singing. Right, so she was all the way in on it until she actually realized how Brett got into her, how she really is looking out here, how she really is looking. She crying because all her stuff is falling apart. Do she feel like she wrong? Perhaps. No. Is she gonna give her sister back her money? No. Is this album gonna be the success that her and Rocky wanted it to be? Mm -mm, none whatsoever. What the emotion that she felt was real. Her mm -hmm. motives in every aspect of how she felt was not always genuine. And that's mm -hmm. all I'm that's all I think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Do you guys yeah. think, excuse yeah. me, yeah. do you guys yeah. think that the that the projections because don't our album come out next week? Do you yeah. think that the projections yeah. have come and they're because of all of this right here that they are that she's underachieving. Do you guys think that's what this is about? Well, somebody that has very well be it. About. They, they somebody might even have focus it. groups on it. Like, literally, they <laughs> might have done focus groups to watch the show, to watch social media, to see, hey, we have 100 people here who know everybody from Tamala Man to all of the big artists. Would you listen uh -huh. to this? Do you like the song? And is what's happening on social media affecting how you think about the woman? And if the if the groups are saying, no, nah, we ain't buying it, you have a really good point. They might be like, you need to fix this because we're not trying to invest money until we really got you that bus. Somebody has a really bad echo. So you got to mute yourself yeah. if you're not talking. If, you, if you're not talking, you need to be on mute. Okay, you guys. Hi, this is Alina. I just want to say one more thing about the S tape after listening to Mean's video yesterday. When I research, if someone steals something from you and you 
if you make an insurance claim, you need to do first a police report. So what I'm saying, if that if this was so true, she's not going to go and do a false police report because that's against the law. That's why she hasn't reported it to her insurance company. She hasn't reported it and made a police report. So if this S tape was so-called missing, why haven't you done any of that if you don't believe that your husband took the tape? Because you didn't do it because you don't want to make a false police report because you know your husband took the tape. She know he has. She yeah, know he she know he has it. She know yeah. he has it. I think yeah. she went in there to look for it when Tamika asked her for it and mm -hmm. didn't know it was gone. So they probably had their side conversation, but if it was me and somebody stole something to me, I'm doing an insurance claim and insurance claim gonna say, we need a police report. But you're not gonna do the report if you know who stole it and you're not gonna do no false police report and you're making a false report because you know your husband took that tape. I, she needs to, she, I don't know. She just ain't got a lot of stuff ain't connecting with her. Can I say That's something? really gross. Yes, jump in. I just want to say I want to point out the I want to point out the lies first. If you listen to any of her other interviews, don't mind my voice. I'm Wait, nervous. Who is this first? What's your name? This is, this is Shadarion. Shadarion. Okay. Oh, yes. you, you took your, your um photo down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, my photo is still up there. I don't Not know. Not the if photo. I meant you were uh, you were a face a minute ago. You're you're back to the avatar. Okay. Yes. So what I want to point out that she said was. If you go back to any of her other um, interviews, she stated that she never lived with her mother during that time. But if you go back into what she just posted, a, I guess a couple of hours or so ago, she said we were living with her mother. She said we all were. But that's not true because even Tani's mom said that Tamika was living in New York. But then she turned around and said, well, that's not true. Tamika was never living in New York. But that is true because Tamika's husband is from New York as well as I am from New York. So I know. So when she said that, she told a lot of lies. If anybody go back to her previous interviews and look at her crying now with all these sad apologies, it's only because. Her record deal is like what everyone is saying is in the tubes. And now she's holding on for a lifeline. Another thing I want to point out is if her husband was a manager to people like Trey Songs, he was a very big star. Britney Spears, before she went hoo-hoo, she was extremely big. Um, Art Kelly, before he went. Don't say that name. Say Mr. Kelly. Okay, YouTube well, YouTube Mr. Kelly. Well, we'll say Mr. R.K. Before Mr. R.K., you know, went where he went. If her husband was so big like that, why did it take her 10 plus years to just get a solo? All the things that she don't want everybody to know is actually coming out. So she just doing this because she realized that they can do it without her. And they're making the yeah. money because they have Candy and Tamika, who all the younger generation is very well and know. And with her sister being with them, all it's going to do is elevate her sister. And now that she know her sister is underneath, from underneath her chateau and can sing her parts almost better than her, she don't know what to do. Because now that they didn't, I guess, dismiss her from the group. What she has yeah. left once her once this this gospel thing does not pan out, she has no more lifeline and all that. I um, I'm by myself. Why is she so willing to prove she is by herself with no receipts? She's apologizing and she don't know where the thirty thousand come, but she didn't see it until we saw it. How's that when you filmed it? <laughs> and you do as well know. Yeah. That and your mother and you know your mother know because y'all was living with you with her, you know, so she knows what is going on. And then her mother revealed you don't know what she was going through. We do now, they were broke. Yeah. But they her broke. husband is this big time raw raw dude, and you still broke. I ain't even got escape money, and I ain't living with my mama. I know that's right. Amen. <laughs> oh, and we are on the same. Oh, amen. 
If anything, I'm taking care of my mother because I don't live in New York anymore. I take yeah. care of my mother in New York. Well, she was in New York. And I didn't live with my mother. And I lived in the Omaha, Nebraska. And my mama was in shade. So, and I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say anything, but I ain't get to the point where I have to move back up up in the NYC. Uh-uh. Nah. Me and my husband both are Trump drivers. So, if why couldn't he just get a regular job? Hey, um, I'm not going to curse, but um, Foxy Brown went and worked at um, <laughs> Home Depot when she lost her career. She ain't moved back yeah. to her mama. So oh. let let let's call a spade a spade. Mm -hmm. She's lying. I'm sorry. I I do believe in mental health because I did that for plenty of years with young kids. I do believe. I do believe she's mentally beaten. I do believe yeah. even though he's not physically and let's let, let, let's touch one more thing. I'm going to be done. I'm going to just say everybody for the rest of the night play my space. But well, before you list that one more thing, we got like 1600 people in here and we only got a thousand likes. Y'all okay. hit that like button because I can see y'all are enjoying what she is putting out there. Please continue. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> let's talk about now even though she is trying to say one thing that she is not being physically abused, but there's yeah. all forms of abuse, yeah. honey. There's mental abuse, there's emotional abuse, mm -hmm. there's financial mm -hmm. abuse, and guess what? He may be a a doing a Tina Turner and I up, yeah. but yes, he's doing all the others. Mm -hmm. It's just that she don't want to see that. Look at that face. At that Come face. on. Yeah. Yeah. I know yeah. he he probably ain't doing the knuckling it up, but yes, he's doing every other form of abuse to her. He mm -hmm. is fighting He has financially abused her because that's why she's with her mama and not his mama. Mm -hmm. But the but the side women are popping out, you know, babies. And she only could manage to get one because she's too stressed out to produce it anymore. And right now she's probably mm -hmm. screwing up. But he is, he the rest of financial. <laughs> then the emotional, look at her. She's sitting up yeah. there with that tissue, got that eyes like, come on, girlfriend. Look at her when he talks to her. It's like he tell her parade rest like she's in the military. Yeah. Come on. That right there go mental abuse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, emotional abuse, she used to be a nice thicker. She didn't shrivel it up and she gonna throw up some more. She talk about not having no booty. She ain't gonna have no body. Because yeah. of, come on now. And then she tell me, oh, we're in an open marriage. Girl, no, you not. He Girl, is open up to everybody in the land and across mm -hmm. the world. That's right. Mm -hmm. Nobody's talking about they, they, they knocking your boots and you are exactly. the star. He exactly. That's it. He just don't want to be nobody right about knocking your boots because I think somebody said, hey, I'm knocking them boots. Yeah, they're not going to get some fame fair. But thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Good night. Well, I'm still well, I, well, I, I, I appreciate you coming in. I appreciate you joining the Straight Shooters. Uh, yes, you have definitely uh, came in. And for this being your first time, you do not <laughs> seem like you are new to this. You seem like you are true to this. Uh, thank you so much. I got a couple of super chats. LT, uh, I did get the thing with the new LLC. I'm going to be working on that, y'all. But y'all know I got like a real job in addition to all the stuff of my family and YouTube. So uh, I will be investigating that. I got a lot to do. Tomorrow is going to be swamp for me. I am meeting with a PR person who is going to be working on all the stuff that I need for my endorsement. So thank you guys. I appreciate you. We are 35,000 strong. I just did a photo shoot that I got to drop ASAP because we're about to be 36,000. If you are watching this and you are not subscribed, what are you doing with your life? I got a question. Uh -huh. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, I have a question. And Mims, I'm offering my condolences. I haven't spoken to you. I'm mm -hmm. dealing with a mom taking care of her, so I get it. And I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. Our daughter's was really special. That was I, my I know. Um, I know. I know. Um, I'm, I'm going to get back to that Rocky and Tamika. I don't know if anybody touched on this, but does is it me or does he seem a little bit 
obsessed with Tamika in that S way, like in a physical way, naked pictures. Um, oh, he yeah. not stole the girl's tape. Like if that was my husband and my, mm -hmm. I'm like, you must want my sister. Like yeah, she, I be down. They're not even touching on that at all. And I then he called my husband the bodyguard, right? <laughs> so let's say this: Tamika's husband is a big. That's alleged. Bodyguard. That's alleged. They have alleged. not specifically. We don't know specifically who sent that text message to mm -hmm. Tamika. We just know that oh, it did okay. have some shade in there, and it's real okay, sassy, okay. like Chris. Yeah, it sounds real sassy, right? And <laughs> if her, if Tamika's husband is a big time bodyguard, because I believe he is her husband, mm -hmm. because he's very quiet. That's a big man, and he's from New York. I know he want to post up on somebody, but he can't. So if Tamika's man is making that kind of money or has the capacity to make it, that's another reason for Rocky to be jealous. See, oh, yeah. he's so competitive, but he has nothing to compete with. His wife was supposed to be the one. And he oh, gassed yeah. her up but forgot to tell her, you need a personality first. I don't care how good you can say. Mm -hmm. If people don't like you, they will not support you. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. She's a mean-spirited person. I believe she knew about the money because if you mm -hmm. listen to them talk, they always try to say how much work Rocky did. Candy just went and threw all that out the water. She just blew that up. <laughs> Rocky did this and Rocky did that. And mm -hmm. Rock, they didn't pay Rocky. So she's trying to justify them allegedly taking the money because there's yeah. no way she did not know. And her the thing she says... It's obvious she was down with the whole thing. I'm not going to say that mama was down. What I think is one thing, that that's somebody's mother, so I'm not going to put that on that lady. Mm -hmm. But I don't think she received any money from it. But I think she wanted them out of her damn house and said, take the money. If you took it, I don't want to know about it. But I'm glad they got out of my house. That's what I think. I think she wanted them to get out of her house. And they had no other way. Tamika living her best life with her family, making it happen. And Tamika sounds better than her now. And I'm going to say that now. Her voice has gotten so much smoother, clearer, strong, that old-time, soulful, southern voice. And Latasha just does the run. She just doesn't sound as strong because I think emotionally she's a wreck chasing behind that man. And mm -hmm. if she tries to leave him, he's going to hurt her then. He never physically yeah. touched her. But if she tries to leave that man, I believe he will physically hurt her. Because can we, Tamara, hold on really quick. Tamara, can we have some kitchen table talk? I, you know, Please. there are so many things in this world that can get you canceled. But I want to say this. Sometimes uh -oh. when people change their <laughs> appearance, I, I don't care. I, I'm Y'all know I, I'm a straight shooter, pow, pow. Sometimes when people change their physical appearance and they're a singer, you know what I mean? Like if you lo drastically lose a lot of weight or, or you get a lot of nose jobs and stuff like that, sometimes your physical appearance can change the way that you sing. Aging changes the way that you sing, either for the better or the worse. I, I didn't know. know. <laughs> hmm? I never knew. Yes, absolutely. Go ahead. Yeah. Megan Ryan. Megan Ryan. What was her name? Yeah. Remember? Well, you changed even, her face. Yeah, look at little Kim. I mean, yeah. the little yeah. Kim oh. says that hers came from DV, and she had to get those multiple, you know, nose jobs and stuff like that. But there are things that can change the way that your voice comes out. And what I can say is I did that whole video where we talked about them, the mother saying that Latasha was jealous and the father even saying that Latasha was jealous. And I juxtaposed Tamika. both those videos. Yeah, Tamika. Sorry, Tamika. It's a lot of teas. God dang it. It's a lot of teas. Yes, they, <laughs> they said that Tamika was jealous of Tasha's voice. The mother and the father both said that. And to me, what that says is they have played that up for Tamika from a, from when she was younger. And even though they tried to build her up, they when they say it, even though she's an adult, that can still eat away at the way a person feels about themselves. But yeah. if you watch my sneak peek, I pointed out that every time that Tamika sees Tasha, she tells her how nice she looks because she yes. knows that her sister has had issues with her personal appearance in her mind and has self-esteem issues. So when Ta Tasha said, oh, you, you body shaming me, every time we have seen Tamika speak to her sister on camera, the first thing she says to her is you look so nice. 
I know so this is something very personal. I know from my sister, she literally tells her daughter all the time, you're so beautiful. You're so pretty. You're so smart. Because she wanted to make sure that from a very young age, she instilled in her that she was worthy. Yeah. And nice. that resonates with me. Mm -hmm. I see that in Tamika doing that for her sister, Tasha, every time. Y'all go back. Mark my words. I did a whole video on it. When I did my I speech, I said I that specifically. It. That's important to point out. She always uplifts her sister because she knows that her sister is going through something as it pertains to the way that she looks. Yeah. But what she's not acknowledging is that Tamika is going through something internal right. because she's never right. felt worthy. Right. And right, she right. never goes down so to the that level. So the sisters both felt the same thing. No, just in different ways. Different, Tasha, different ways. Just in different ways. Exactly. 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 Just in different Tasha's, ways. Yeah. Because if, if y'all know her, this, yeah. Tamika Tasha. has been bigger than Tasha for a lot of years now. Like Tamika yeah, got that body, yada, 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 yada. But yeah. you can Tamika's see happy. it from the front. But Tamika's I'm happy. serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tamika's I'm happy. I'm serious. Tamika's happy. Hold on, really, really. Hold on. Before we hold on, really quick, because we got some super chats. Robota Tolan, thank you so much for joining the Straight Shooters. I appreciate it. K. Smith, thank you so much for joining the Straight you're Shooters. Welcome. You're welcome. Oh, you're up here? Okay, yes, well, I even am. better. I've never <laughs> been able to thank somebody welcome. on the panel. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining the Straight Shooters. Rework. I'm sorry, but Tasha and Rock are the same to me. Bloop. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say one thing, uh, you guys? This hold is on, one second. Hold on. Hold I don't on, know. One second. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Quincy Cuthbert, she got to check Rocky about trying to extort her sis. Allegedly, but yes, she does. Thank you so much, Quincy. I got a couple more. Um, thank you for everybody who chose to support the channel. Thank you guys for watching and spending time with me this week. We have really been breaking down the case. LT says, yeah. and I, LT, you're up here? No. Tamika Evidence had an email address. The email address is Golden Girl. Edward Bivens on the GA website had an LLC under Golden, Golden Girl started in 312. LT right. is on the case. Ooh. Yes, I have been receiving the DM. Mm. I have to talk about the new LLC, but this is all alleged. But, um... Can I say one thing, you guys? This is Zelina. When she was apologizing to Candy, I don't think she meant it. So let me tell you why. Candy did a no, video today on another platform. I don't know if you want me to say it, but she did a video today that I watched. Candy does not want to work with her no more. But Tasha hasn't all the way released her. She hasn't all the way released her group member status like they did Candy. I don't know if you all remember. Candy said they made her sign a paper yeah. so it can just be the escape three. Remember? Okay. Yeah. So I live in Los Angeles, California area. I went and got my ticket. Hold on one second. Coming Somebody May mute 14th. yourself. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Somebody in the background. We got it. If you're not talking, please mute. Okay. Continue. Okay. So Candy doesn't want to work with her no more. So when I went today and got my ticket yesterday for May 14th, this escape R&B is coming to Los Angeles, California. The flyer still has Tasha on it because they legally at the time when they promote that day, she was still with the group. Tasha doesn't, not that one. It's a different one. If you go to- No, no, I believe you. I'm- Oh, yeah. I, I believe you. Okay. I'm saying this was the yeah, new she flyer. Said, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the new one. Candy wants that one to be promoted because I think they're they trying to take to um Latasha off that the one with the four. Candy doesn't work want to work with her anymore. That's why she's all of a sudden crying to Candy. And oh, I didn't know this and I didn't know that. She's trying to keep them in her back right. and money from them. Right. I think that's why she's trying to be on Candy's side. Because Candy said, I don't want to work. And y'all know Candy is like me. I'm a tourist. We'll take so much stuff, but when we come to to a point where we don't want to work with you or be around you no more. It ain't nothing you can do. That's you it. see, it took her 10 that's years it. to talk to it's Tamika. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's why she's trying Steam. to be nice to Candy. Uh, here too. Guys, Steam. Hold on. Steam. One, one second. Can I one say second. something? Okay. Well, hold on one second. We are really about to be at 36K. So if you are watching this live and you have not subscribed, definitely go ahead and subscribe. We are super close to 36K. 
thousand subscribers and i love you guys for it um we have a few people who haven't spoken so if you haven't spoken kind of let me know and jump in if you have not you haven't spoken no it's your the floor is yours and then in my opinion i know you haven't said anything and whoever else right. not, I, jump in this is y'all's time <laughs> okay well uh, all i want to say i'm k smith and thank you for having me i Welcome. am a abuse counselor okay and when I, I I have a habit of staring at people and I have this, you know, it I feel what you feel. It's in my face. You know, and that's that's um it's more to it than what's going on than what we see. Rocky is a narcissist. That's what he is. And she's just like uh, a little ant up under him. But she's gonna go out to the world. And, and present this royalty or I'm this, I'm that. But it is more to it than that. It is, it is more to it than that. And it's, it's going to come out because we, we usually break, you know, and we get to where we can talk about it. And once she start talking, don't be surprised. Rock is something else. I don't think she'll ever be able to come from under him Rocky's right spell because he not only he built her up and she firmly believes that he's the only person in the world that ever thought that she was just this beautiful person or whatever. So she's and that's what really a narcissist do to you. That's what I agree with you. I agree with what you just said. That's what they do. That's Wait, exactly so hold on. I, hold on. Because you said you're a counselor, right? Yes, I am. An abuse it, counselor. If you were in the situation where, and this is not advice, she's not counseling right, right. us, guys. No, this no. is her personal. Uh, trust me, I got some pe some officials who have to. We have to do <laughs> disclaimers. This right. is not her job, mm -hmm. but just saying, you know, common sense wise, if you were going to talk to somebody like her, what would the steps be for her to remove herself or take back her control and power? First of all, I would ask her, how was her childhood? Because it starts when you're a kid. You know, you allow people to run over you or whatever um, we take on as an adult. That's what, was, that's what we was showed as a child. I would ask her that. I would ask her, you know, what was it that you needed from each one of your, your parents? You know, and from that point... You know, she talks, she tell me or whatever. But what I do is I hear what you don't tell me. I hear what you not. That her husband was cheating. Oh, oh yeah, and see when and that's that they didn't have no money. Yeah, <laughs> that's a narcissist. <laughs> the shade, the shade, man. <laughs> yes, that's, I'm sorry. That's, I'm sorry. That's a narcissist. They will make you think that you can't breathe without them. That's male and female. So with her with her losing the weight and doing all that that I've seen through the years, she always had a problem with her weight. That's why I say I would ask her what happened as a child. How was your childhood? And it seems like to me, and this is personally coming from me, that Big. the parents walked on eggshells when she got upset or there was no correction. She played the blame game very well. You know, I'm not saying she did, you know, she's a kid. She don't know what she's doing. But the parents, the parents Lord. have to step up and say, hey, this is life. Stuff like this happened in life. She didn't get that. I see that clearly. Dude, anybody, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, hold on, because yeah. we got, we got, um, well, I, I thank you for that because I think that, oftentimes we being kind of like novices to this don't exactly know what the right answer is. A lot of us have common sense and straight shooters. Mm -hmm. We definitely, uh, <laughs> we we're in the know, but it's good to know what somebody who has more of the professional credits mm -hmm. thinks. And the fact that you see that there is some narcissistic tendencies that says a lot because we saw it, but if you are, you know, constantly, you know, telling people, hey, this is what I see and this is how to correct it and this is how to get mm -hmm. out. Because I really do think that Rocky has some type of hold on her. And it yeah. stems yes, from him does. making her feel beautiful when she didn't feel beautiful way mm -hmm. back in the day. 
Yeah. But um, in my opinion, you've been way too quiet. And whenever in my opinion is quiet, bad things happen. Please <laughs> jump in. Hey, okay, Mims, baby. how are you? Thank you. I don't know how I am yet because you haven't spoken. <laughs> okay, well, let me tell you this. Okay, first of all, oh lord, let me go ahead and let me let me <laughs> let me just tell you. <laughs> let me tell you something. You okay. <laughs> okay, so I listened to the lies. Okay. Okay. Did you say and the I'm lies going, or the lies? Yes, yes, I listened to the lies because oh. all of it was lies, okay? That girl don't have a sorry... She don't have a sorry bone in her body. She's not sorry, okay? She's not asking for forgiveness. What she's asking y'all to do is stop talking about it. Y'all mm. making her lose her contract, okay? Them folks done called her up and said... Oh uh, ma'am, we supposed to be getting good publicity and you getting bad publicity. And we're gonna have to cut your touring of this um album that's coming out. And she like, no, I can get it together. So she came up there with them tears so y'all could stop talking about it because everybody keep talking and Tamika done put out the receipts, okay? And she can't refute this receipt. So now she like, I just want my sister back. Now we all know. Tamika ain't got your number. The only person in the group that got your number is Tiny. Okay? And then, okay, if you so sorry to your group members, on that same live, she drug every last one of them while she was apologizing. That don't tell me you sorry. That's that's why I say that. But family. I don't fault her. Okay? No. I don't. Mm -hmm. This is the thing. Everybody forget this. She went from one narcissist to another narcissist. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why she mm -hmm. likes Rocky. Rocky is just like mm -hmm. her mama. That yes. mama sat mm -hmm. there and told her that yes. oh, Tamika jealous of you. Don't so worry is. about it. Yes, Tamika jealous of you. And so at that radio he station, he told her, don't worry, they jealous. Lord. If you Lord. keep on telling people that after a while they start believing it, they do just they because do. you believe your lies <laughs> don't mean we believe your lies. Okay, yes. let me tell you Freak. something. I've been a Christian for a mighty long time. Okay, yes. I done served yes. a lot of years on this planet. Okay, I and the mean. one thing that the one thing that you talk the one good thing that I learned in church is a marriage makes you one. Okay, a marriage. Right makes you one. You're not two people no more. You're one person. That's why in the Jewish community they make you circle your groom seven times. That's the reason why when um, Christ, most Christians, they jump the broom. Okay? Like all that stuff symbolizes something. That's because a marriage is holiness. It's making y'all one in the sight of God and before all your friends and family. That's the reason why you got married. So miss me with the I'm married, but I'm in an open marriage because then that means you ain't married at all. OK, all your vows have went out the window because it said forsaking all others mm -hmm. through richer or poor in sickness and in health, mm -hmm. forsaking all others until death do you part. OK, let me tell you something. I've been married for 15 years. And if that one day even they keep finna look at somebody else, it's going to be a wrap. <laughs> Hold on, we starting at 15 years. Star, thank you so much for the super chat. She said, Brad's girlfriend comment on her live sent me tread tread lightly. Oh, they didn't threaten Tamika? And that's her wife. Uh, thank well, you so much, Star. Well. Her wife. Hold on. Don't, for, don't, don't forget where you stop because I got I gotta do these super chats. Hold on okay. one second. I told y'all, in my opinion, do not be playing. She came through. She had wrapped her hair up. She pulled out the Vaseline. She got her Tims on, and she is ready to go to war. <laughs> Hold on. We got a couple of more members in Super Chat. Dang, these comments are moving fast. I didn't realize it. Uh, Deity Supreme says, why would she admit to an open marriage? A lot of people do not believe that it was anything that she had a choice with. People are saying yeah, yeah. that she's doing the open marriage thing because it helps Rocky save face, but it does not make her look good to the gospel community. Thank you, Deity Supreme. Oh. Hold on one second. We got more. I'm sorry, guys. I haven't been getting to these super chats because the things are moving. Continue, in my opinion. You've been married for 15 years. I've been married for 15 years, okay? And that wouldn't even think to look at somebody else, okay? I might have to take him out, okay? 
to yeah. death do you part. I'm just sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then we're going to go on back into this video of lies. Okay. Okay. So then you say you and Rocky been in an open marriage. Okay. I already told you you can't be married and have it open. You just can't. Here's my thing. You going in there saying they sending you stuff somebody was paid to do. Hold on one now, second. if you are a real Christian, Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Um, Queen Barbara, the link, if you have joined the membership, um, the link is when I joined the. Oh, okay. Hold on. The community wall is when you go to my page, you'll see it. Um, I'll share it as, in my opinion, is talking. So you'll see what it looks like. Continue, in my opinion. Okay. So. This is the thing, okay? If you're a Christian, a real, real Christian, I mean, because let me tell you something. There's different levels to this Christian entity, okay? There's people that play Christian. There's people that's part-time Christians. And there's re people that really believe in it, okay? So if you're a real Christian, okay, you claim you're a minister of the, you know, minister of the music, I'm going to slightly go there with that, Okay. Please don't take this at face value, okay? Because I'm still praying for you, sister, that you get your brain right. Um, if you're a real believer, though, of God, and you know him, okay? He said, come to me as you are. Mm -hmm. Lay your burdens down, and I'll help you carry them, okay? So if you felt like there was anybody that was coming against you, that wouldn't affect you. You wouldn't have to address it, because you already know that God said, the enemy going to come. He going to come in to seek and destroy and, and cause all kind of ruckus in your life. That's when you, well, that's when you're in your good, that's when you're in your breakthrough. And that's something for everybody to remember. You're going to get to second. those times I, where you feel like you're about to break. In my opinion, hold on one second, because we have other people coming in. Does anybody on the panel mind dropping down? We have people, um, okay, other I, I straight can. shooters. Okay, I well, will. thank you so much. Um, somebody drop down. You Yeah. See somebody well, trying to get up, you're more than welcome to come up because this is y'all's night. Continue, in my opinion. If you're a real Christian, you know that there's gonna be obstacles that comes your way. That enemy is not gonna want you to live that righteous life. So, yes, he's gonna throw those stones at you. And this is for everybody that's listening. When you're in your tough time, that is your season. OK, yeah. that's when you need to pray harder because that means your blessing is around the corner. But if you give in and let go, then you miss your you miss your blessing. Don't miss your blessing. At that time, that's when you pray harder because the devil is going to seek to destroy you. But let me tell you something, Tasha, I'm telling you, I looked at your life. I didn't see nothing Christian in your eyes. I didn't feel nothing nothing looking at that video i promise you i didn't feel an ounce of christianity in you and that just may be my bias i'm just uh, telling you i would not buy an album from you i could not lift my prayer into you i could not nothing because i don't feel like your prayers is going higher than the ceiling right now mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm about to drop else? down okay. Yeah, okay. i'm about to drop I'm down i do it I, I just want to say, because what she just said was so powerful. And like I said, when I got, I've been married 29 years. And as a Christian, we know that we become one. My husband and I are one. We may not agree on everything, but it's just like this. If he is out there dropping it low and busting it wide, whatever he's sleeping with, those, to me, this is my opinion what I believe. Those characteristics of that person is called soul ties. Then now he's brought that in our marriage. And so I, I may be wondering why am I acting like this? Because of who he's sleeping with. Or if I was sleeping with somebody. And this girl, I really believe <clears throat> that because they are one, it comes across at least in my opinion that Rocky is a narcissist. So if they're one, she may have started off, you know, different, but then she took on his characteristics. Yeah, that sounds and feasible. Last but not least, last but not least, and I, 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 I don't help. So, when I saw that video, did anybody else seem like, 
one minute she's angry and blaming everybody for what's happening and angry but yet <clears throat> trying to um it's like she's trying to say how great her husband is like he's this and that put him even to me like she's made him a god and then at the same time she's putting the guilt trip on us like you never know and then y'all be talking i'm like where is this going she's mad one minute it seemed right to me then it's like she's uh has made her husband he's my everything and then the next minute it's like y'all just don't know what a person is going through and what they'll do like okay we need to stop talking about her because she's saying that if we don't you know she may do something or yeah. something it just was yeah. just or is that just me? Please, no, somebody tell me. I don't, I don't like to play yeah. with that because that yeah, I, I, don't like I have that. experienced do somebody who definitely and, was and, in and a that... very dark space and they, mm -hmm. you know, took their own. Y'all know where I'm going with that. Yeah, I would yeah. hate right. for she this type not of situation that. to but, but put that's, her in. That's hold on one second. Do. Okay, I'm sorry. I would hate for this type of situation to put her in a headspace where she doesn't feel like she has anywhere else to turn. However, you were continuously going to social media. So it makes it hard for me to understand that mindset. If you're going to social media all the time, then you and you your phone number is not available to everybody. You can't really be trying to make it work. Mm. Um, but Makes hold sense. on, straight shooters. So right now, what I've done is I've dropped the link um for all subscribers. Are there any straight shooters who mind dropping down? Because What's happening? I'm gonna drop down. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. You're welcome for coming up. But Anybody that's what I, dropping down. That was it. Thank you. Hey, right, ma'am, can I say it. one more thing? Hold on. One. Thank. You. Um. I. Well, I was gonna tell her thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> Go ahead. Make make this one. Um. A uh, uh, a good one, but quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. Okay. I. Let me tell you something. First of all, mentally. I know this girl is tired. Okay, I'm not. I'm not refuting it. Mm -hmm. I don't want nobody to feel like I'm taking away from her mental space. I believe her mental space is very disturbed right now, and I'm gonna keep on praying for her. Like I'm praying her strength in the Lord. I'm praying her forgiveness in the Lord. But the one thing I told you, man, when we had this first live, I said it's only two ways she's gonna be able to come out of here and be able to be received. OK, either she had to come out and apologize and say, look, I'm sorry I stole your money. We was going through a rough patch, whatever. Mm -hmm. However, you had to say it. Are you going to have to say it was defamation and file a lawsuit? She chose to go the other route. You see what I'm saying? You cannot yeah. victimize a victim and then keep doubling down on it, especially after she done showed her receipts. So if you got receipts, then, then show them. If you don't, don't come back to social media and making it worse because this could have blew over. Had she not have said nothing, I'm pretty sure this would have blew over. We would have been talking about something else. But she it keep never coming. had to be the storyline. It never had to be the storyline is the point. They She came into that scene knowing there was issues. They could have talked about on the first episode the deal that went sour. But what happened was you had you and your mama up there really going at the girl and she called your bluff and she called your bluff in a way that you had no defense for and that is the problem hold on well, you know, whoever just came in you gotta uh make sure that we're not playing in the background but thank you so much in my opinion you know you always come and drop the mic my friend i want to say one more thing ma'am before and then mm -hmm. i'm gonna drop down let someone come in okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, what I want to say is this. This is the difference between um, Tasha and Tamika and their husbands is another Who's thing. Shadarion. Okay, Shadarion. Sorry. Uh -huh. That's okay. This is the thing. If anybody pay close attention, the reason why the mom and them keep telling Tasha that Tamika is jealous because Tamika is happy. Look at how Tamika husband treats her. Look at how joyful in her voice. Even when she cry, she really hurts because she has been a tortured child because she's been wanting this love that oh, no one has cash been giving to her. I'm sorry. But I didn't expect her, cash apps. Thank her, you, God. But her dad. And that's why she's so close with her dad. Her mother always felt some way towards Tamika because she was still close with her dad. She wanted Tamika to dismiss him because of what they, those two adults, were doing in their marriage. So because of that, 
you know, Tamika is happy in her marriage, and they are trying. They tried to destroy that. Tamika didn't have to move back home. Tasha did. So to make her feel something about herself, that's why her mother always say. Tamika is jealous because Tamika husband loves her. Thank you guys and you guys have a blessed night. Thank you. Well, thank you, Sidarion. I, I really I say appreciate one more you thing? coming up and joining the membership and you came and dropped the mic too. Have a good can, one. Can I say one more thing and I'm going to drop thank down you. too, baby? Okay. Um, my my thing is, is, is accountability. That's what she's never had to deal with in her life. That's what I see. You know, they try to smooth it over. Like you say, when her sister saw her, she said she looked nice. She didn't say no negative words or whatever because she knows that if you don't, that's a trigger to her. But you have to be accountable for what you say and you do to other people. And that's just what it is. Um, what she's talking about, if you can see this image, it says sneak peek. Definitely check that out. It was where okay. they the two sisters reconciled on camera and I broke it down. And although mm -hmm. they hugged, there was some serious manipulation that was going on as it pertained to Tasha towards Tamika. So definitely check out that sneak peek video. I did a full breakdown and it's not it was not good. But thank yeah, you so was, much for coming up. I know this so was your first time. Me. I yeah. appreciate you. Um, and I will see you on my next open panel. You sure will, and you keep can up I, the good work. Can Thank I say you. one more thing, you guys? This is Have Zelina again. One. I just want to say this. Don't y'all feel when she went live that she was trying to manipulate us like she like Rocky manipulate her in regards of when she was telling all her lies. I hope the one lie that is that that's not true or the one statement she said that is a lie is when she was saying like y'all don't know what y'all can make a person do y'all don't know how I, you know somebody can you know basically and subliminally say like we can make her hurt herself and i hope she don't do that but don't y'all think like she was trying to manipulate us to tell us stop it let it dry let somebody else take the heat now somebody else trying to be on the hot seat, another celebrity. Y'all gonna yeah, jump yeah. on somebody else bandwagon. Yeah. She was trying to make us feel guilty. And I God forbid, I hope she's she's lying about that quote. I hope she is, but I just feel that she was trying to manipulate us, tell us to stop, tell us, you know, what if something bad happened. You know, I think she was trying to do the same thing to what Rocky does to her, to us. Like we don't know though. We 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 smart enough than we smarter than that. Yeah, okay, well, I, you know, I appreciate you, Selena. Thank you so much for coming up. When you come up, you, I know, I, I trust me, I know about all the taxes and everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she comes with the receipts. <laughs> Definitely, do not be a stranger. When I do my next open panel, I haven't even done the full apology. That might be a whole nother live. Mm -hmm. So that might be another open panel live. I know you guys like these, and I like hearing from you. But thank you so much, Selena. Yeah. Yes. So no, I'm finished okay. with that. I was just I, I don't want to. It's like a touchy subject, but that's why I said uh, everything she said tonight on her live. I hope that one sentence is a lie. You know, I just hope that part is a lie because she shouldn't say that to manipulate us to make us stop feeling a certain way or to make us, you know, leave her alone. That part she shouldn't have said that if it's a lie. That's what I'm saying. I just hope that part is a lie because that's a touchy subject. She shouldn't even mention that at all if it's not true. If it's not true, though. We got a whole bunch of untruths that need to be addressed. But thank you so much, yeah. Alina. I appreciate you. Do not be... I know you're not going to be a stranger. Uh, yeah. now I'm going to see you next time, friend. I think she for sure was trying to um, change the narrative. Hold on one second. So do you mind if I drop you, Zelina? Yes, go ahead. I'm okay. sorry. I don't know how to do it. Oh, there we go. Have a good one. Yeah, I think okay. she was trying. She was for sure trying to change the narrative, but I do hope that she hold does. On, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Um, Deity, if you, I have dropped the link. I love people who have different opinions, so definitely feel free to come up. Uh, the link has been dropped, and let us know. For the rest of the people, let's make this more rapid fire. So, like your biggest points, jump. You can go ahead and jump in, Brittany. Yep. So I just hope that she does take the whole accountability thing and then just reaches out to her sister. Cause I think her sister is just simply saying, I just want you to acknowledge my feeling and what I'm saying and not just be dismissive towards it. I do still love you. I do still want to have a relationship with you, but I can't just keep having my feelings 
being dismissed by you. So I do, I do think that there is a chance for the sisters to reconcile and do everything that they need to do. Don't nobody know their journey but them. Those are the only two girls that go through life together. When their parents are not there, I do know that they have other siblings in them, but those are the those are the only two that they have. That's a sibling bond that can't nobody break. I don't care what marriage or whatever happens, anything like that. So I do think, Tasha, I don't think that, well, I don't think that we would see it, but I do think behind the scenes, in some way, Tasha will admit to it. Good enough for Tamika, and we'll, Tamika will just kind of like let it be dead like that. But thanks again. I will join into the next chat, and I'm going to drop down and be in the chat. Well, I thank you, and I appreciate you so much. Um Anybody who's not spoken, go ahead and jump in. Do your rapid fire commentary because I, I especially like people who have different opinions and who we will not attack you. Trust me. Okay. I want to speak on Latasha. Okay. Latasha is not telling the truth because, first of all, churches do not accept open relationships. So that's a not. You know, she sounds. They accepted like Pastor Jamal Bryant. All past. Listen, if you know the, if you know the secrets of the church, <laughs> what the pastor do? We ain't talking about we just offer her grace. Bishop so, Eddie Long. I mean, all these Christians. Make it make sense. Let me tell knowledge. you this about you. I watch your intro over and over. That is so fierce. I'll be enjoying the intro. Forget the um the show. The intro is the joint. You know, I'll they be, still I'll be, be listening to uh. Mr. Kelly's uh, religious songs that Bishop Eddie Long was forgiven over and over and he died being forgiven. Speaking of that forbidden name, right? I wonder did Rocky show him the tape? Who? Yeah. Jamal? No, 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 no. That, that forbidden name. The R oh, the ew. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Kelly was, the tape. Was yeah. He was she was way too old for him. No, no. Oh, she was in her 20s. Nah. Oh, no. She was that's in her 20s. I, listen. Yeah, that, I'm not that young. The I wickedness. have read this book. I know that Portia had aged out. That's why he didn't take her seriously. Sorry. I'm sorry. We have gone. <laughs> no, we I don't want to go off the chat. I'm just saying because I don't believe that they ever stopped they hanging out together. Rocky. Never stop hanging out with that R. Kelly. He's a clout Mr. chaser. Mr. Kelly. I mean, you know that car. Yeah, he's a clout chaser. So mm -hmm. I just see that. I just see him looking all that poor Tasha tape. Now, let me talk about this Candy and this Tiny. Candy has a beautiful living soul. Her brother's a living soul. He, he, he was deleted. He's a beautiful living soul. With the mm -hmm. success of Candy, he's been managing his sister through heavens because she is full paid in full but let me say this tiny and candy have no siblings they're selfish and i feel that they have been brainwashing tasha and tasha is just taking it a little too far because if you are raised with a bunch of siblings like i have blame brainwashing tasha or tamika you don't know um tamika is brain brain Tamika is being brainwashed, okay. not Latasha. Tamika is being brainwashed by Candy and Tiny, selfish little, you know, those are selfish. They, they, they just only children, only children are selfish. They don't know the difference, how to, how the older child always got to get the clout or the family is not going to be happy. Trust me. I don't know if you understand where I'm coming from when I say that. Like, no, when I was growing up, if your older brother or older siblings is not happy, they make everybody miserable. <laughs> so that's what I remember growing up. And I just yeah. wanted to, I just wanted to also just complete my statement and drop down so somebody else could get in. But, but, but hold on. I want to say that. Hold on one second. Candy had a sibling up until I believe she was almost an adult. I believe, and I could be wrong, but Candy had a brother who, you know, Riley. untimely passed. Brother, his name was Riley. Who passed when I, was she like 17, 18? Right. Yeah. She, she did have a, she did have a sibling. And I, I don't know if Tiny, but I will check. I think that Tiny also had siblings. Just 
Oh, okay. I I, I I always thought they was single children. You know, I just know that they brainwashed Tamika. That's the bottom line. And let me tell you something about since people think I don't like Candy because I don't. Um, she has siblings. Todd, Todd, she kisses Todd behind. Rocky is worse than Todd. Ro Todd is worse than Rocky. That's what I wanted to say. Yes, Bye. Todd. Is, Todd spends all the candy money in the strip clubs. Todd rules candy. Candy's not happy, and Todd is not happy with open relationship. That please, that relationship is fake. They not in love. Todd is just a kept man, and that's it. She needs all. Todd, candy is greedy. For Candy to even mention to SUV or whatever that, um. Um, other group name is and say she wanted to be the highlight or whatever. Hey, Scotty. Yeah, headlighter and these other people made 30 million and they sing better than all of them. Come on, stop playing with me. I don't like her. That's it. It's it's fair. Wow. I, there's a, there, hold on really quick before it is fair. A lot of people do take, you know, umbrage with candy and the way she acts. Personally, you know, I like candy, but you um Barbara are more than I'm comfortable with you having your own opinion. Please do not attack Barbara. She's just giving us her opinion. It's an because ensemble they cast. Me. They always attack me. I don't care. Uh, Angel, why are you up here with being so quiet? I've never known Angel to be this quiet. Angel Marbury. I am here. <laughs> why are you this quiet, sir? You, you acting just He's like, in my opinion. What, where, what are your thoughts on all this? <laughs> Tasha's apology, what's going on? Well, my opinion is, is that I feel like if she's a Christian, that we should um, offer her grace. And I hear, and I've heard all these Christians call in and saying that she's lying, saying that open marriages aren't part of God's plan, all of those things, but not one person just really has just sat back and was like, well, let me pray for her. Because that's really all the video. That's what I got from the videos that she's asking for prayer. She's not saying that she's perfect. She's not saying that she was right. She, um, she did say she didn't steal the money, which, you know, which I don't believe. But what I am, what I am able to deduce is, is that she is hurting. She's in a dark place. And and the very least that we all could do is just offer her prayer. That's it, just offer her prayer and a little bit of grace. Cause this is a very difficult time to have your mom bashed on the internet, you know, have reality TV. Like this has been the hot topic on the blogs for like the last four weeks really. And this is constant, constant attacks and constant, you know, you know, just, it's just been a lot for him. And so I don't, I don't think that she's right. I think that what happened was it's with the interview with the Brad, when the Brad says when we were little and Candy was sad, I think that that kind of like that hurt her. I think that that kind of affected her a little bit. That affected um, her. I, um, I will say Angel, you, you are bringing up a good point. Um, there is a certain level of forgiveness. I think what people are kind of like, zeroing yeah. in on is even though she's apologizing there is something there that still feels inaccurate it's not a complete apology and i think that's the response that she's given but i completely agree with you we should give people grace but that's when if you are going to bear your soul on the internet then go ahead and bear your soul don't well, what are go, we looking for i mean but, but what i does think that, look that like? I think that you should, A, address that tape, right? If your husband potentially has this tape that is something very deeply personal to your sister, then address that. If you're not going to address it, don't address any of it on the internet. Just say, I talked to my sister and we're good. But you came out and you gave an apology. Again, you, you personally denied the $30,000, but your husband is your rib. If he took it, or if there's any allegation that might even be true, then address it wholeheartedly. Look, I don't know what's going on. I can tell you I didn't take the $30,000, and I will look in to make sure that my husband didn't, because I want to make sure that I am doing right by you, my sister. And I think that's what's missing. Do I think that some of it was heartfelt? Yes. But I do, from 
sadly, I do feel like some of it was to save her contract from Motown. Probably so. I mean, but but we are. I mean, but we should offer her that you know, that, that grace and that opportunity because there isn't anything that she's going to be able to say that's going to give, you know, everybody, you know, closure to all of this. So even if she came out and she said all of those things about the tape and, and about the $30,000 or about any of that, still going to be some people on here that's calling her liars. But, or... she, but Angel, she is over here saying, I got my own receipts. So... It's like it can't be completely hard. Okay, when I apologize to somebody because I know that I've been really effed up, I don't say we both effed up. Let's apologize. I say, Angel, I wronged you, my brother, and I'm sorry. And I'm sorry for this. And I'm sorry that I didn't know sooner. I'm sorry that I didn't protect you. It cannot be a I'm going to apologize, but I need you to apologize too, because that doesn't mean that in my heart, I'm truthfully sorry for what I want. That to me says she wants her sister to apologize so that in the public eye, she can save face. But let right? me stress I, you though. I mean, but you can't, but you can't put the way that you're going to do something on onto her because we're talking about two totally different People. Right, but what she's wanting a certain response from the public because this apology was a public apology, but the public is saying that's not good enough. So then, what's the point? Somebody needs to um, somebody needs to mute. Or is that you, Angel? Oh, that was you, Angel. I get what you're saying. Um, I'm if that was one hundred percent. Because what we're going to wind up seeing is somebody delete themselves. Easy does it. They're just really taking this too far. And what Latasha is saying, this was all unexpected for our sister to expose such a tragic secret, you know, of her personal business. And now it, it is really sabotaging her career. What I wouldn't do is allow that admit those two little mice. To, to stop me from making my millions of dollars when I was in this group from day one when it started because everybody wants, Candy could do what she want to do. I don't want to be in the group. You better change your name to Escape 3. I'm big time and you do what I say. And then when I want to come back, everybody better kiss my behind. No, uh-uh. If, 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 if Latasha wanted, you know, you know, to change her mind and get back in her group, her sister, Tamika, better not allow her sister to lose millions of dollars. At the end of the day, she got to think of her sister' life and her sister' well, children. You, you, her, you her didn't family. mind that I lost thirty thousand or more, right? You want her to protect her sister when I'm telling you, okay? So that money, I'm, hold on. I'm, but oh, okay, I just want to say this before you say your point. That thirty thousand mm -hmm. is like thirty dollars compared to the money that they're going to be making, or three hundred dollars. Seriously, or three thousand dollars compared to the money that they are going to be making. That thirty, that thirty thousand is like three thousand dollars. They're going to be well, making. You're still millions. saying you don't know you about that. The SUV say that she makes the money that they making. They be making cash. Like, I but it doesn't matter because if I can't trust you, I don't want you. Look. If Man, Tamika, said, okay, we let got, me, we, got to, we got a deal on allegedly. If Tamika did have her thirty thousand or plus stolen, and she has sat on that for ten years, we're just hypothetical. If that's the truth, then that is why you hear me saying I think that she is the victim in this situ in this situation. It doesn't matter if moving forward we can make all this money. I was pregnant with a child when you allegedly took my money, and I held on to that because that's the kind of relative sister that i am to you and now okay. you want to come back and tell me that oh well i didn't know well now you know and what are you choosing to do anyone about it anyone that has the holy spirit and don't have the love of money i'm a i'm a i'm a i'm a testify to you give you a testimony in my day i've been around a lot of big notorious drug lords i've lost a lot of money thousands of dollars my friends took thousands of dollars from me but the money I was around, them thousands of friends. dollars was nothing. Was then nothing. they weren't your friends. I know it doesn't matter. That money is nothing. 
Money it doesn't matter. matter. It, it money matters comes who you have around you. Okay, I'm just trying to tell you, if you're a person that makes money and going to make more money in the future, that money is not important to hold on to. Forget it. You could, she could either pay it back. It's not worth her sister relationship because, let me explain. If it's not Tamika, just money. If, if you Tamika stole my ass tape Tamika and you were using rich, when Hold Tamika on one second, Star. Rich, Star. Well, no, I'm just trying if to say stole, when Tamika becomes rich, she's not going to enjoy that money. Her mother's not going to be It's not about money. Not it's gonna it's not about the money. It's I don't care if you stole my bubble gum. The fact that you needed to steal it. If I am your sibling, you asked me for it. And I that's what a family tie you. is. That, I will give it to the core you. issue. If I make you're a thinking, mistake, forgive me. You cannot kill me because of money, the love of money. Don't say my that God. word. Don't say the K word. Oh, that's okay. one of those. That's one of those things that gets flagged. Oh, I'm sorry. I get what you're saying, and I enjoy these passionate conversations, Star. But Darlene, we cut you off, and you haven't said anything yet. Please jump in, because me and Star could go. We could do this all night. Yes, there's a few things that I want to say. Oh, Lord, and in my opinion, and came back. You then got, in my opinion, hyped up, too. So. <laughs> Please, Darlene, jump in. Okay. So, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on one second, in my opinion. We, we can't cut uh, Darlene off. She is patient. First off, I really like your bed. That's a nice headboard, Darlene. Uh, but continue. Yeah, thank you. I love, in my opinion, I love, I always love this <clears throat> But listen, there's a few things that I want I want to I want to get off my chest. The mother tell Tamika to read your words. Read your words while your favorite is an open relationship. Okay? Um she said she's in an open relationship, but last week when Waki was in that thing was was in that call with Tasha K. He said, oh, I did some dirt. I did what I did. I regretted it. He never said he was in a relationship. He was in the open relationship. Never ever. Okay. <laughs> your, your mem is killing me. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Keep on. So what, I think what you're saying is um, Rocky has said a lot of things out of his mouth that don't necessarily yes. line up with Tamika now, saying. Now, you come, you say... Tasha, what Tasha said. You said sorry. sorry. It's too many T's. You said Everybody sorry Everybody in Atlanta to got a T name. Dang. You said sorry to Motown. <laughs> you said sorry to your mother. You said sorry to your grandmother. But mm -hmm. to your member who put money in your pocket, you say, if I offended, if I did this, come on now. The job ass. She doesn't have well, that just for Jill. Well, it's always says if because the intention wasn't to offend you. So I, I say what I'm saying because I said it, but if, if I, what I, I said was to offend offended. you, then I apologize. No, we don't need that. That's not good We're enough. Well, That's I mean, not what good, is enough. good enough. And what is when good you enough? show what is good us enough? that what you... Is good enough? Listen, is listen, good enough? listen. Listen, Linda. Linda, Linda, listen. Okay, when you show go. us... Linda, li listen, Linda. When you show us that you was by yourself in that room, we need to see the front door. We need to see the right side. We need to see the left side. We need to see the bathroom. Walkie was stepping you. Period. <laughs> y'all are y'all are funny. <laughs> we 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 can't be here all night. We got uh <laughs> we got Danielle. In my opinion, um, and Danielle, you go first. And in my opinion, you jump in. And whoever else hasn't spoken, make sure to to sound off before we uh close out. Danielle. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh. I, Jalen or Jalene Fulton, thank you so much. She says, I get what you're saying about being the oldest child because I'm the oldest. However, you lost me with the brainwashing statement. Also, there's a time and place for everything. She had all the smoke until she saw fire. I'm kind of with you. She had all this time after the production had wrapped to talk to her sister, but what she thought was it wasn't going to be a big deal. So she changed her phone number. Now that there is a firestorm around her, she's apologized. But I understand what Angel is saying. At certain at a certain point, 
we do have to start giving people grace in the public eye. I just think the general public wants more from her. Thank you so much for the very generous super chat, Miss Fulton. I appreciate it. I have one more. April says it would be easier to offer grace if she approached the situation with grace. I fully agree with you, April. Um, people did not necessarily believe those tears. Uh, I got one more. And then uh, Danielle, after this one, jump in. Candace says, on the cross, Jesus forgiven a thief. The thief had more faith than some of the believers. I believe it's never too late with God. It's not up to us. Candace, you are absolutely right. The court of public opinion will not get you into heaven. But we, it, but it might drag you to hell. Thank you so much, Candace. <laughs> I appreciate it. Danielle jumped Oh, you wrong oh, for that with me. <laughs> Hold on. Not Rodney the voice. Tamika lost 30000 plus the taxes she paid. Tasha will be working at a call. <gasps> oh. Why did I read this? Tasha will be working at a call center soon. If she doesn't leave Rocky and play the battered wife card, I'm just saying. Rodney the voice is a friend to the show. I will be on his channel uh, hopefully sometime next week. So look out for that because he has a lot to say on the subject. Yeah, can I say buddy. something about what he just said? He's absolutely right because I see her being as as Tyler Perry movie Diary of a Man. <laughs> oh, I'm, I don't worry. I'm coming back to you, Miss Barbara. Hold, I see that hold for on. Her. Hold on. We got we got a man, let... black woman. I see that for her. Hold on. Yeah, we got to let Danielle jump in. Danielle. I bow Please down bring to down my, the I know, bring I'm down not, the temperature. No, I cannot. I bow oh, down to no. my girl. In my opinion, I'm going. I'm going to bow down and let her go first. Boom. Okay. In my opinion. Okay, Miss Barbara, are you a Christian? Miss yes, Barbara, I, this shirt. I, mean, like, uh, I don't go by the no, uh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, asked you. I, I asked you one, Miss Barbara. I mean, you don't went. I mean, you don't went to battle before on channel. I'm not finna go to battle on on, on make it make sense channel. Well, all I'm, I'm asking you, all no I'm asking you, no all I'm asking you is one question. It requires a yes or no answer. Are you a Christian? Not your Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you ain't okay. Not let me so, let me just. I don't okay. go by a demonic, what uh, uh, altered Bible. I don't go by that. I go by and maybe. Bible. Well, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why your common sense don't make common sense. Okay. And so. that's in your opinion. Do you got hold dog on, on, right? Everything. Hold on, hold on. Let me tell you hold something. On, Everything I say. Hold on. 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 Right. I'm gonna have okay, to meet I'll both go. you guys. I'll hold go. on. Really quick. I do these open panels and you guys can go and have different opinions and toe to toe, but you cannot like disrespect each other. Cause then like, that's, that's when what it she's gets... doing, disrespect Hold on. Me. Star. I thought you just, you can't unmute yourself either. If I muted you, <laughs> I am the nicest content creator, but guys, you have to do it in what's, what's considered a respectful way because I have subscribers from every walk of life, every faith, and you don't have to agree, but you have to be respectful towards each other. Please. I, that's the only thing I ask. I give you guys my whole channel to say and do whatever you want. Just please be respectful of each other. Okay. I really appreciate I'll go. that. Because I did not I really appreciate that because I am tired of being disrespected by angry black women. I am tired. Ooh, okay. 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 Now I'll now go. hold on. Barbara, now, Barbara, Barbara. Barbara. Okay, this is Shirley. And Shirley is calling you to tell you, <laughs> A, don't mess with her man, and B, you can't, after I just turned the volume down, you raised it back up. You just added fuel. So I'm going to let Danielle go first. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. So this is it's, it's so much. And I, 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 we all appreciate you opening up your platform for us to have these Kitchen conversations, table talk, family reunion, red cup, Friday night, fish fry. Yes, time. my red cup is oh, empty. Yeah. That's hey, what this that's feels like. It's, this feels any... like a good old spring night sitting out on Granny's porch with your red cup and the fish fries in the backyard going. So, Talking about your husband whose man's been cheating on her. Yes, yes. Danielle, I got your plate ready. I know you do, boo, because that baby be cooking down there. <laughs> So listen, okay. this is what I don't like with Tasha's mm -hmm. video of lies. We already mm. knew that she suffered from some kind of 
whether it was self, low self-esteem or whatever it was, she was struggling with her weight back in the day. Now I feel like she's trying to guilt trip us and make us feel bad because we have. We've drugged her in these comments. We've drugged her on these platforms because what we've been provided via what she's given to the editors to edit doesn't look good and we don't like it. We are here. We play fair with everyone. We give you credit where credit is due and we take it away from you when you don't deserve it. And right now she doesn't deserve it. And we don't deserve the fake guilt trip. We were already feeling special about you when you said you suffered with your weight because you felt like, and we get it. We Back in the day, everybody didn't want to be the Neo Soul plus size Jill Scott singer. They didn't want that. Everybody wanted to be the Beyonce. Everybody wanted to be the little one, shake a tail feather on stage. But that one year. I had every Jill Scott album, just FYI. Love and that's her. the part I never understood. And Angie Stone. Yeah, the, again, another great one. Neo Soul, I never understood. I have a girlfriend. She has a beautiful voice. She can take a Jay-Z song and make it sound gorgeous. But because she was of a certain size, she didn't want to pursue. And she said it. She was like, I don't want to be the big bone Neo Soul singer. Why not? We have Jay we have Jill Scott, we have Angie Stone, and we love them. Had Tasha accepted who she was, and we get it, it wasn't her fault. It's how she was raised. We recognize that she had no control of that, but you cannot come on here on I Blue Ivy's internet and try to make us feel guilty about stuff that you've been struggling with for years. This is not on us. We feel sorry about that, but you will not make us feel guilty about your the mental space that you've been in for a long time. That's not cool. It's not right. And nothing good is going to come of this. And I feel you do right by me. And to... <laughs> I was about to say I feel bad that her record deal is going to go, but I really don't because I feel like you reap what you get. And this is the, she chose this. She chose that man. And every woman is no woman on this earth that can't say they haven't had some kind of man issue, whether you tall, dark, skinny, short, fat, whatever it is, every woman has had some kind of man issue. So we all understand that. Has she come with some kind of honesty? It'd be a totally different story on this panel right now, but she can't be honest with herself, so therefore she's not going to be honest with us. Well, I appreciate you bringing down the volume. Uh, Misty Green said, that's right, Mims, take the range, running the muck. Yes, people were running the muck in the palace. Uh, shout out to Mama D. Uh, I got a couple more super chats. Um, okay. Y'all were really, Zelina says, ain't no other channel like this. I love it. Thank you. I will be dropping the link to that video that I did earlier where I broke down the scene where they reconcile. Um, I appreciate you, Zelina. Kim Cat, thank you so much for the super sticker. Has anybody else not gone so far? Can we just, can, can our uh, cousins that's been drinking too much, can we just all just stay calm, please, y'all? Just I have not what gone. Been, you, well, hold on. Who was that that says they've not gone? This is LT. LT, please. <laughs> I know you are new to calling in. Please go on. Well, my, um, I'm very disappointed in Tasha. I think she's in a denial about a lot of things, of course. about I, I investigated a lot, so I know she's in denial about a lot of things, but I'm very disappointed in her because... She does know what's going on, but she's going to pretend to save face or she's trying to save her husband. I think she's covering for him. And I think the why she's covering for him is because she got low self-esteem. and She don't want to lose him. And um, I'm, I'm the oldest child, so I get what being the old child is. But you don't, you're not supposed to put toxicity on your younger on the younger kids. You're supposed to guide them, you know, protect them. And she's not protecting her sister. She's like, she's choosing a man over her sister. And I don't like that at all. Um, I don't want to go too deep on all the information because I sent a lot to you that I want you to open up and, you know, have something. On, 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 um, well, I mean, I have a lot, I have a, y'all, there's a lot of videos that I still have yet to do. This just, I had a whole video coming out when this dropped. Yes. <laughs> And yes. it just derailed everything. But don't check those videos will be coming tomorrow and Sunday. And then you know we review this show live on Sunday nights, and then we do a whole nother crazy open panel on Tuesdays where you guys can definitely come out and say however you feel. Um, yes. But LT, are you LT on Insta? 
Is that no? I'm something else on Insta. Okay, make sure that you hit me up after this live. Okay. Um, with and say you know your LT, so I know who you are because yes, people have sent me additional receipts of Rocky. I guess reestablishing an LLC. So I have all that. I just have to go through it, talk to people who are experts in the field before I come and disseminate information yeah. to you guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I do want to give the floor back to, in my opinion, and Star, but I want to make sure before we sound off completely that you guys are are going to do it in a respectful way. Um, I'll give guys both like a minute. Star and then okay. you first, well, in my wait opinion. a minute, ma'am. Uh -huh. Mims, I want to, Leo, I want right? to drop down. This is yeah, yeah Leo Airy. I'm getting ready mm -hmm. to drop down. I just wanted to say that, Mims, I've been rocking with you since you was like like ten thousand, but I wasn't a member. But I really do rock with what you got going on, and I hope to talk to you soon. And everyone on the panel, have a good night. I appreciate that. I definitely do. I thank have you. A good night. Have a good night, Leo. Uh, Hair Tail says, Latasha said open marriage for public sympathy. Very tragic and sad. Keep quiet and stop talking to press, radio, social media. Stop it. That's how I read it in your voice, Hair Tail. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. And I think you're in Canada. And Can Canadian people are very nice. Uh, shout out to Shan. Uh, Barbara, please, uh, I know you'll be respectful. And then, in my opinion, you will be the last to retort, and then we will close out. So yes, Barbara, the floor is yours. Well, all I like to say is that at the end of the day, the Holy Spirit is going to win with that Christian family. Tamika and her sister are going to live happily ever after. And Tamika is the savior of that evil family. And that's a beautiful thing that the older sister had to eat humble pie. She's going to forgive her sister and they're going to go on to make millions. And thank you, make it make sense. And I just left you a little message and please no one judge me by anyone else actions. I have a page people could go to and see oh, what kind of Hold on one second. Hold on. So this is where you go left. Nobody was judging you. You had the whole floor to just talk Funny about enough, I know. It's just that I'm really being insulted by people and it's really... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm no. not insulted. I have turned the temperature down on the whole panel. So we can't do that, right? Because that's when it flips. It's like we were following Tasha until she said uh, but you were wrong too or you need to apologize too. So we left it with you on a very positive note, uh, Ms. Barr. Right. Thank you. You're very and, welcome. And I love your intro, and I will be back if I'm welcome. But please, I anybody just, is welcome. But when you say "but," is when things. No, no, go no. Back. I just want no, 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 no. I just want you to to get to know me. Go to my page and see what kind of person I am. That's all. Okay, don't, Barbara. Don't I, I will. Do, Thank you. I will. I will do that. Um, okay, I have uh, two. Two of them. Okay. okay. Thank you, Miss Barbara. I appreciate okay. you. The temperature is all the way turned down, in my opinion. And then Renaissance, you are welcome to close us out. Thank, but we thank, can't. Okay. So, in my opinion, jump in. Can you hear me? Yes, but we're, we're just gonna let in my opinion go first, and then it's yours, and we will close out because tonight has been a night. In my opinion, okay. why are you so quiet? <laughs> Because, uh, you know what, I'm trying to, let me tell you something. First bring of all, it down. bring it down. No, you know, you know me. Listen, I'm not finna fight with nobody because I don't have to fight my battles. Okay, okay. I serve a Positive. mighty God. Positive. I don't have to fight mine. Okay, God gonna fight mine. But um, anyway, any Christian knows that all throughout the Bible, it tells us that thou shalt not steal. Okay. And just in case y'all forget that, Exodus 2015 said, Thou shalt not steal. Okay, and Ephesians 4 28 said, Anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work, do something useful with their own hands, and then pay back double what they stole. That's all I wanted to say, you know, since we was talking about, oh, and first of all, Candy and Tiny didn't make nobody do nothing, okay? Because we all our own people, okay? And nobody can make you do anything. It wasn't a gun to nobody's head. 
I don't think Candy is no mastermind, okay? I really don't. I don't think all these people is coming out saying Candy was this sweet little teenage 14 year old girl when she started. She was 14, okay? She went out there controlling nobody, hypnotizing nobody. She was a kid trying to make it big. All hey, right, well, ma'am. I'll see you next time. All right. Have a good one. Renaissance. Please take us out and do not turn the fire up, please. I, I am. I, I am not here to bring the fire up. I'm, okay. I, no, no, I'm, I'm here to bring peace. Let me clench my, clench my crystal. <laughs> okay. But what, what I would like to say, and I have back play, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Let me cut my volume down. No, we can hear you fine. Jump in. Okay, so I'm going to cut my volume down so I don't hear back play. But the main thing I want to say is, let's all remember, and I love Escape. I'm a long-running fan since day one. But here's the one, one thing I want to say that no one has said. If Tasha was sincere, we wouldn't even be here on this show right now today. And the reason why I say that is because this was filmed three to six months ago. Mm -hmm. So if I, if, if I went through this live in the show, I would have done everything that I needed to do because I love my sister so much, my family. And I just wanted to make things right. And I got this album coming out and I would have got it right. Then she has had every opportunity to get this right. And it would have never had to surface. Even with the show being taped, they would have already handled that. Not only did she do that, she then changed her number, cut that off. And really, the only time she came back and reached out to that girl was with Venom, threatening to bring out a tape. He and Rocky work as one. Like the woman said before, they work as one. She has known about everything. She has sat back and decided to keep a closed mouth and just let this play out. And then she'll come out and speak when it's convenient for her. She first came out and what got me is how they, how they interview the same. I ain't never seen two people that you have an interview from them and you don't get no information. How they do that? Where they do that at? And I think it also speaks on what the brat said. She was a bully back then. She was a bully. She was a bully. And I think they kind of feed in that, that relationship, like the lady said before, it feeds in on the toxicity. It feeds in on that. I get it. I've been there. We are, I have said, lost 100. I get it. I lost 175. I get that. I get it. But what she wants right now, she wants her album. She lusting after that album that she's been working for for 25 years. And she wished all this would just go away now so she can get it because she's that close. She's that close to it. She's that close. To that, to that it's a lot of things that, that are at play in this. Her the family dynamics, times. you know, the thing about the um, the fact that the parents, you know, she's more like her father. Tasha's more like her mom. That mom is covered. You, of course, you if you're like that, and she's a little toxic too. You cover what you know. If she get on Tasha, she got to get on herself, and and she's not willing to do that either. Hold on, really quickly, Renaissance. You're speaking a lot of facts. We are literally a few subscribers away from 36K. So if you are watching this and you are enjoying this call hit the subscribe. Live, yes. definitely subscribe to the channel. We are literally a few people away from being a, fam a functional family of 36,000. Uh, so please continue, Renaissance. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, I, I mean... You're echoing a lot of the same sentiments that I feel. It's not that I don't have grace for Tasha. I oh, definitely I do have grace for Tasha. Yeah. I don't want to see anybody in such a dark space. But like the dad said, sometimes you have to unearth things. You have to break things down in order to build them up. And if they have this mindset of we can't, you know, don't put anything out there. Don't say nothing. Right. Then when will there ever be truth? When will you ever get to a space where, you know what, this is who I am. It right. could even be a situation where, dang, Tasha could have that open conversation with her mom. Allegedly, right. I'm in an open relationship. I don't right. have to hide these things for you because I'm damn near 50 years old. If I want to go and bust it wide for whomever, we all 
at some right. point have done some things that our mothers would probably clutch our pearls at. That's just what life is. It's that freedom to say, I am who I am. I believe in God, but I'm going to be a gospel singer because my right. voice is for God. Right. And that preacher, get back to that. Paul Bryant, and, and we are is doing the same thing, allegedly. We're, we're testing. We're tested in life and there are things that are done. And, and, and I'll say this, you know, me and Tasha are around the same age and, and, and got, you know, we are usually faced with things in life, but you got to do something different. She's about to come up on a second Saturn turn return, I'm sure. And this is, she's been here before. If you get down to the bottom, to, 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 when you get rock bottom, you'll do something different. She needs to do something different that she didn't do the last time she had that album opportunity. You have to change yourself. You have to learn to love yourself. First. And it's not just the physical change. Just because exactly. now you feel like you're Beyonce and the girls because you are look you looking good. I will admit at that award show, the Soul Train Awards, Tasha looked great. But it's an internal thing. It's not mm -hmm. just external. But you, well, really quick, one of Rocky's mistresses, yeah, says the best thing Tasha can do is admit her knowledge of what happened to Tamika's checks, make amends. Take a break and come back with the redemption tour. People would forgive her, but she has to, she's too bullheaded to do that. That's the problem. But I think this apology was the first step in the mm. redemption tour. It's gonna go, it's gonna need to go further. And it's gonna need to take a sit-down conversation off camera between her and her sister, where they come to a meeting of the minds and they figure out where her money went. And if it was taken by her, her husband, she needs to figure that out. She already knows. Place that woman's money. Well, you know what I mean. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she knows. So thank you, one of Rocky's mistresses. Uh, I'm sure you'll be on Tasha K soon. <laughs> yeah. And she's. And, but here's the deal. It it had to go through all this for her to really care about it. That's the problem. And that's what she's got to take to God. Because why did it have to come to all this in order for you to jump in and do something that was so simple? You know. Because I was thinking too. If they made all those changes to the tax forms, where did the, 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 the tax statements go at the end of the year? They would have went to Tasha. Tamika probably, when she went to file her taxes, her taxes could have been kicked back because she had income she didn't know. At what point? No, or no, she no. may have the even... Income was, the income was there, and they paid taxes on the money. That's what she what? alleged. So, yeah. What? Savannah, jump in super quick because we were really about to close out, but I know who you are, so I brought you up. Hey, man. Hey, panel. Hey. Yeah, jump Hi, in really quickly. We're about to close out. Okay, mm -hmm. really quickly. Oh, really quickly. I am not liking the turn that this has taken lately. Um, this has started as a show about two amazing um, uh, girl group members who were supposed to come back we and are three uh, people remind away us from of 36K. We are three people <laughs> away from 36,000. Sorry. Please continue, Savannah. Uh, okay, great, great, great. Well, kudos to you, Mims. You're going to make 36K, so great. But so um, I am not liking uh, the turn that this has taken. Um, so uh, I am hoping that the sisters can get it together. And um, this is just taking an ugly turn of um, it's, it's just all mucky and ugly. And it's just mistresses and lies. And it's just ugly and i'm not liking the the show anymore in the story and it's just it's not fun and and i'm not liking it anymore so i'm not going to be following this story anymore so i i'm my heart goes out to tamika and even to tasha um so i i'm hoping uh that there a lot of prayer and love goes around both the the girls um because i do see two her young girls I, I, um, that uh, that have broken a broken relationship. So I'm hoping that no, they think, they find um, some love. I think Savannah, I think a lot of us are echoing the same sentiments, just in the sense that we have seen a family, much like our own families, go through it, but it's just happened to be on TV. That's why I want to go back and actually interview the father. When I did my initial interview as a panel, 
there were things that he said that I really wanted to get into and really kind of deep dive in. But if you watch that interview that mm -hmm. I have with Tamika and Latasha's I father, did. I made sure to ask him, as a preacher, where do you see a build? Like, how do you bridge this gap? Where do you see this family going in a positive direction? It was very important that I asked him that. And when he responded, although I appreciate his response, I had follow-ups. Because in everything, I know millennials and younger, and yes, I'm a millennial, they like to say, if you toxic, <laughs> you let go. But it, there is something different, and it might just be me, that if it's a parent, I would want to work it out. If you are a motherless or fatherless child, there is something there that affects you for the rest of your life. And if we could get the mother and the father in some type of counseling so that they could both, even at their, you know, up there in age, right. co-parent and do right by their girls, I think that would be the Correct. catalyst for change amongst them all. That's what this is about. We all but like the mess. It is what it good. is. But you can take a messy situation yeah. and really dive mm -hmm. into it to make sure that at the end there is resolution and reconciliation. And it's going to take True. very truthful moments from all parties involved in order to get there. And they're going to need to do it off camera. But guys, we have been here for two and a half hours. Uh, I told you guys that my platform was yours. And I, 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 I held true to my word. I think that we are officially over 36,000 subscribers oh, so as of tonight. Yay. Congratulations. You deserve it. Congratulations. You deserve it. I appreciate you, you guys. I'm going to keep covering it. I have some more videos coming out. But always, what you get from my video isn't just a mess. I'm going to break it down. But I'm also going to tell you guys a way to resolve and reconcile. Because mess is easy. I could do some real mm -hmm. salacious titles. The hard work that, is in it. Right. If you thought that yeah. this was salacious, I could go a lot further. But I don't. Because I now have some connections to the family. And even though I'm a journalist like Portia and Tamar, mm -hmm. I can't. <laughs> I'm still a human. So I thank you guys. I appreciate you thank all for you. coming out. I will be doing another open panel. I still haven't even done the other half of her apology. Maybe that will be open. I don't know. But uh, thank you guys. I appreciate you all 36,000 plus. And I will see you guys later. Have a good night. Thank you, man. Have a good night. You too, Savannah. I know you. Of course, I was going to let you up. <laughs> thank you. I couldn't get on the other night. The internet was spotty. So thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night.